Yeah, you ran a bit deep into that second last corner. Oh, we'll try oh, to save those corner. replays. There we go. And you went to the inside, so... I went to the out. Oh, man. That was, that was nice. That's gonna make for a good comment. I don't know what that curtain is. Oh. So, you'll be heading off. Heading off in a minute, too. Wow. Thanking me for a. Yes, thanks for the rest. <laughs> you, you had a real good recovery, eh? That yeah, that undercut oh, was um, wonderful. I didn't think it was gonna happen because. To repair your damage, I didn't think. To imagine if you didn't have the damage, it would have been even more powerful. Um, if you stayed out, because uh, you stayed out two laps extra. If you stayed out one lap extra, yeah, it would yeah. have been as much, I think. Because I was expecting you to pit the next lap, but you didn't. So I'm like, okay, this nah, is man. good. My tire is still real good. <sighs> didn't know help I had a Paco chasing me down. Stupid! <sighs> Someone's got scammed on this. Oh, we got a, uh, got Monza. Fuck yeah. Last yeah, race. Yeah, last race too. So that's going to be interesting to see what points are up for grabs and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So did I win tonight? Because I don't think Faf was here. <laughs> Faf was in a different league, eh? He, he was in an LMP1 oh. car, mate. Alright guys, I'll catch you later. Have fun. Alright mate, see you bro. See you. Yeah, he was in the LMP1s. Yeah, fuck. He was testing That's for Le Mans. Too, like, a 2079. Yeah, he must have been on sauce. He had to have used sauce. That had to be, yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Why not pit yeah, seven and eight laps on less fuel? I don't know. Who's well, I feel uh, bad for you now, Mark. Taking your place for taking second off you. <laughs> <laughs> that could have happened at I, that, was, that could have happened at Bathurst, but I fucked up there, so you got him when I didn't. Yeah, I feel bad for Chris though. Yeah, <laughs> that was. Oh, that's uh, fine. I sketchy. yeah, I, I would have um, lost the position anyway. Like it's another lap. You know? Well, going into turn one, I don't know if I hit Leo, but he spun on my screen, and then he teleported up in front of me. What at the race start or? Uh, a couple laps in when we were battling. When you and, uh, you and I and him were battling. Oh, okay, shit. <laughs> and then that's when, like, when he hit you, he goes, like, he teleported, uh, he was in front, then he t teleported back inside my car, and then he teleported into you. Yeah, I saw the arrow on the screen go a bit funny. Um, so, okay, <laughs> that's weird. Mm. I knew something was going to happen, because you, you said something like, oh, it's going to get dicey or something, and then, um... He hit me, like, yeah, the thing happened, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah Pushing extra on one so tire is no sketchy. good. Shame about Laggy Leo. Shame about Laggy, Laggy Leo, Leo, yeah, that's that's a good nickname. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Ooh, five grand. Engine. Oh, oh Blake nice, won dude. 500k last night. On my six star ticket, all I won was an engine. That's all I could win was an engine. Oh, it's probably staying something. My engine's about to blow up. Oh dear. That was this race was stressful. Um, yeah. Yeah, stressful because of the heat. Yeah. And then you got the lag. You got the lag, so you have to break earlier than what you want. Yeah. Yeah, I had some fella come and tell my stream. 
not really. Yeah. Oh, it's Paco. Yeah, he commented on my stream. Cool. No, this wasn't Paco. This is um. Not even. That's it. <laughs> you commented on my stream. Yeah. You suck, bitch. Yeah. This fella. This fella. I don't even know who he was. First time I ever heard of this guy, and he's like, "Hey, bro." Oh fuck yeah. Best Terry's got a new account. No, that's but good. I literally. I can't find my stream on YouTube at all. Um, what? Do you use the YouTube app on your phone, Mitchell? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do you use the studio app as well? No. Uh, so now it's up. Okay. So if, when I finish the video, it, it uploads. But if I'm streaming and I try to look for it, I can't find it. I think you got to... um. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. No, that's all right. Yeah. That's a bit shit. You should be able to yeah. get the link like while it's streaming, right? Fuck. Because I wanna, yeah, I wanna send the link to my my Colin Racing page when I'm racing, but I can't. Yeah. Is that all, mate? <laughs> Who? Like, who do the delivery? Me? Ooh, what delivery does he want? Yeah, I hope he does. It'll be good. It's good fun. Yeah, man. Make it a free car, Colin Racing Team. <laughs> 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 You Even could be, Jeremy could make him one. You could do that. Change. Like, all Jeremy has to do is just change the name and number on your car. Yeah. <sighs> well, there's nothing in the rules that well, says no, you can't no, do no, that. No, 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 that's, no, absolutely not. <laughs> nah, I don't want that. Who, nah, who, who is this guy? Oh, okay. Angry or? Oh, if he's, yeah, he might like it and want to join. Well, you know, that's fine. Yeah, fine. I mean, it's all about fun. You don't have to be fast. Like, look at Trent. That's that's it. He's we not need that fast. we need a field spread. We need fast people to get faff too. Fuck. Yeah, he had it way too easy tonight. Yeah, he, yeah. No. Yeah, that's what I mean, that's... Well, you, you did. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, going into, you know, that corner after that long straight. So, on my screen, yeah. On my screen, bloody Leo, he, like, We'll side by side, and then he teleported. He like flung back behind me, so that distracted me, and I outbraked myself into that corner and missed the friggin' apex. I wonder if I, I want to find out who caused the carnage at turn one. Yeah, I got, yeah a, I, got, I got a tap. I had no damage. I'm mm. the same. I got tapped as well. Well, more than tapped. And I got no damage. Probably won't be able to tell who it was. That was a quick race for a spa. Yeah, because the track's quick. Yeah, um, so it was just uh, it was just under what we usually do in this league, like for the well, for this season. It's about thirty five minutes a race. This is probably just over thirty. Yeah. Same's gonna happen at Monza because that's eighteen laps, and that's a faster circuit, slightly. I kind of thought about that. 
I'd rather have it there for the drama, yeah, especially the Turn 1 drama. Like, I know it's kind of shit for the people that suffer, but it's, you know, it's part of racing. So. Wait, why am I looking for my stream to find out who hit me? I should be looking at my replay. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, mate. Good so race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's going to be interesting. Stand yeah. no, Thanks, worries. mate. Thank Catch you. Ya. See ya. Fuck I haven't got a message from Blake yet. That's interesting. No, he, he's not happy. Oh, is he messaging you instead? <laughs> yeah. No, he's not even messaging me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Didn't okay. He... Didn't you hear him rage quit? No, I did. But um, oh, I guess raging's a bit different. So last week when he had a disappointing race in the F1, he was texting me saying, oh, you know, I hate this game, blah, blah, mm. blah. I'm like, yeah, I know. F1's, you know, pretty hit and miss this and that. And then, um, yeah, I was expecting that tonight. But yeah, I guess he's just, yeah, he's full on, yeah. full on upset about something happened. It's harsher on the last lap. I think no tires and yeah. Yeah, and I think Kaja was trying to, someone was trying to apologise. Yeah, it was. It was him, yeah. That's right, Blake will, you know. That's fine. Nah, some people, some people do it, they, you know, they, they, they rage or it's like, Pete, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Peter does it fucking really good. I was, you know, I was, when we were side by side, when we made contact, I was going to slow you down, but then Mark went on around the outside. <laughs> Yeah, so Mark was, was like, uh, second or whatever. You're like, fuck, man. Yeah. Otherwise, if he wasn't there, I would have slowed and let you back in front. But Actually, I want to have a look and see what happened. Me on. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find out. Was lap uh, for, to... four, wait, 14, I think. I see, you, see you, Jeremy. See you, Jeremy, mate. Good, Jeremy, I was here. My bad, Jeremy. Okay, let's have a look at, um, yeah, Uh oh. Oh, what the hell? I think it was Feza that hit me in the turn one. Oh, really? Fuck. <laughs> well, he, he hits you, then yes. lags and teleports and hits me. Okay, let's have a watch. Let's watch. I'm watching on Feza's screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he breaks a bit late. Oh, and he lags and, Mark, and doesn't hit you, but he does hit you. I know what you mean. Yeah, uh, I think Mark hits um, late. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, it's just so lag. Mark, like, Mark. Yep, I'm going on Mark. Oh, he's got the cat livery on that. Oh, yeah, he hits Blake who hits... Oh, jeez, yeah, okay. But, you know, it could be lag too, so it's not like, you know... I think it is. Like, I don't want to... Wait, he's, he went, he's down at last. Mark Pacheco went all the way to last, fuck. Really? I thought it was Jeremy. No. Wow, the... and he was back up in the second? Yes. What the hell? Yeah. Talk about driver of the day, what the fuck? What the hell? Oh, he got a penalty too on the first lap. Big wow. one. Oh dear, Blake put Jeremy to the front and then Jeremy puts Blake off. Oh, that's wild. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a bit um, that's a bit naughty. That's what happened to Blake. Yeah. Oh, and he gets hit in the back by Fezza. Oh, it's yeah. Does he get damage from that? Oh dear. Oh wow. What the heck? Yeah, he's got damage from that. So does Fezza. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> that race to forget. Oh, Fezza sliding everywhere and oh. Uh... I don't know how hit you. Well. Actually, Wait, what happened uh, here for this one? Let's have a look. Oh, for Fezza with Blake. Yeah, let's have yeah, a look. Can't really blame I, I don't know. I'm standing out there. Alright, so Fezza gets wide with... Oh, jeez, he fucks up there at the fucking... Yeah, okay. Alright, so Fezza comes back on. Oh, he... Oh... Blake comes back on He does, but Fezza's losing control. If, if, if you rear drive on board with him. He's like lost control through the corner, so it's not really his. Yeah, in fact, that's just not his fault. Like, yeah. 
<laughs> Just opening up blues all around, I think. Yeah, Blake runs wide up that corner in the... Uh, yeah, when he comes back on... Uh, like, if Fezzer was in control Jeremy of the car, he could have, um... Oh, yeah, before then, yeah, he sends Jeremy in the fence. Fuck, when he gets back on the track. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. That's a time. Yeah, that was, um... That's full on. All right, let's have a look at our fucking... Lap 14. That's where I lost the right, lost second place. Yeah. Let's have bad. a look. I feel bad. <laughs> no, Alright, here we go. I'm at, I'm at, I'm riding on board for Checo. I want to see what happens. Oh yeah, you're a bit laggy there. Oh. You sort of bumped me. But Pacheco's... Yeah, I'm great. Well, he was in the middle of us. Alright, I'm going to ride on board with you. I'm going to see what happens. Yeah, so like, I break and then I end up jumping and hitting it. Yeah. I bump you, yeah. Yeah, then Pacheco That's just a bump and run. clean run through. Like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, that is a classic bump and run, that one. Yeah, that's a gizbag and move right <laughs> I'm gonna watch it on my screen. Yeah, you're really close. You're, you're not really jumping that much. Let's have a look. Oh, no, oh it's. Yeah, it's, you know. This is the second, like, I was right behind you, let you on your bumper, then it, I think I back off a little bit and then under brake and I, I obviously brake a bit later and I bumped you. So I threw your page in the way. No, this is exactly what happened. This is exactly what happened to me and you and Daytona in the first season when I hit yeah. you. It's exactly the same, like, rubbish. So you should actually get a five second penalty for that. <laughs> ah, shit, yeah. Absolutely. And your tyres are completely cooked. Mine was still half. What the fuck? You and Jeremy are fucking, um... The tyres are... They're like three quarters better than mine. Mine and Jeremy or mine and Mark? Sorry, you're a Mark, yeah. Like, what the fuck? I only pitted the three laps earlier than you guys, like... Or two or three, depending on... Let's have a look at the rest of the tyres. Yeah, fuck me, like, yeah, it's just me just being shit with my tires, man. Yeah. PCR, I like that on the rear wing of, um, yeah, I've got that too. Sick. Yeah, that looks mad, because I've got the Sticker Motorsport and they've got PCR. That's cool. I you like yours though, like, that's just sponsorship galore. Yeah, I was meant to have that white, but I put a blue or something. No, like, blue and white. I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a, I'm thinking of the other one. I'm gonna watch that actually, have a look. Bit dirty on here though. Oh, it's... It's alright. Yeah, you got a better run. You can, man. Definitely. It just made it all good because like... I was gonna try to slow down and let you pass. That was the first thing I thought of, but then Mark just went up the inside of both of us, and that literally that, that changed my mind because I didn't want to lose the baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, that's the thing because we would have had the podium if Mark wasn't there. Yeah, and what? plus I'm um, fighting them the points, so it was like. <laughs> oh, Faf, um, Faf at the end there. He spins on the line. <laughs> really? Yeah. He does like a fucking... And he goes super slow. Yeah, he does like a oh, 360 wow, fucking, you know, whatever thing, yeah. I don't think Faf will be back next season the way he's going. Too fast. Well, we all just got to fucking step up. Yeah, I'm like, trying. Yeah, like, competition some, out of the way. Like, sometimes, like, we'll have like a like one race or two races where we'll get him, but he, ever since last season, he's just been winning everything. Yeah, last round, mate. Yeah, that was, uh, that was you, wasn't it, mate? Has anyone else won this season? Yeah, Jeremy's won a couple of races. Oh, that's right, Jeremy's won three, fuck. Has he won three? Fuck, okay. Yeah, oh. he has. He, oh, won, actually. he, won, he did a hat-trick. He did a hat-trick. Oh, uh, did he? he two, yeah. Oh, shit, okay. And he's missed one round, so if he hasn't missed one round, he'll be second in the standing. Um, 
um, that's true, yeah. Because he's had a couple of races where he's just had no points. Fast only had the one sheet round. Oh, let's have a look and see what happened between them and the last one. Yeah, but hang on, this battle looks like it's been going for ages. Boosted Blake and Fastive. Oh, uh, I see Fastive hit Leah and kind of spun the last uh, the first corner. Oh, jeez, oh, okay, there we go. For start of lap 15 is where Fastive bumps um, Boosted Blake. It probably gives him damage too. Oh, oh this is like gives him a nudge. Down the straight as well. Um well, Oh wow, big time. Wow, what the fuck? In the town line. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Mark, Mark Pacheco is watching. Yes, it does look nasty. And then like, Blake squeezes him in that little straight. <laughs> the old straight. Yes, it's, um... Yeah, it's pretty tight between those guys. On the yeah, track. Right, yeah. Who finishes ahead of who? I think it was Bar Steve. Blake literally just fully cuts across him. On that little straight. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, he just, just like shoves him into the wall of us. It's like what, um, Faf did at, um, uh, Tokyo with, yeah, uh, whoever at the start. That's, yeah. re that's retaliation, yeah, that's not a good look for the leg, but, <laughs> you know, I'm done in leg racing, but, hey, I'm staying out of it, my business. I have my own fair share, everybody, ifs and buts, that race. Main thing is, I finished out of PC racing. Yeah, let's have a look at that actually. So, in the teams. Hmm. Yeah, you guys are well ahead. So, you're... it's still on, like the championship's obviously. Like... Yeah, one bad round next week. They've got it. But, Nick, Nick Fast's the champion as well. Fuck. Yeah, right. Yeah, Jesus Christ. He, he doesn't have to show up next week, hey. Oh, that's why he said thanks in the lobby, because <laughs> he probably knew he became the champion. Yeah, I know, right? Like, he had, he had himself to, to lose the race at the end of the day, like, fuck. That's right, ridiculous. The biggest, the biggest loser tonight was poor old Jeremy. Back in two points. Two points, yeah. So you're well ahead of him now for second place, like... Yeah. Although hmm. anything can happen next week. It One can. Bad race for me. Well, let's see. C3, look... Jeremy is 24 points behind you, so if you have a shit race and he wins, he could, he could, yeah, overtake mm -hmm. you. Um, me, i got to watch out for Pacheco. If I have a bad race, he could overtake me. He's only nine points behind. Oh, wow, he is too. Which is astounding because if you look at the points, like, it's kind of similar, but there's a few races where you just, the one race, Austria, <laughs> got six points more than me. Yeah, that, that really did it. But that's tight. They got Blake Williamson. He's only ten points behind Mark, so he could still, you know. Yeah, uh, Blake's haven't hasn't been having the cleanest races the last two. Let's have a look. Yeah, eight and eighth and sixth. Yeah, he's had these two podiums this season, and then the fifth in Austria, and then Germany. Yeah, and sixth Belgium. Yeah. The worst part is I look at the gap between me and Jeremy in the standings, and then I look at the team standings, and the gap's still a lot closer. It is actually, isn't Yikes. it? So it's, 
13 points difference between the teams, championship. So, yeah, that's definitely on. Even though there wasn't God really, damn. there wasn't supposed to be a team's championship this year, but no, but we won it. <laughs> uh, we well, won one. Fezza <laughs> made the graph, so we've got one. Yeah, <laughs> but it's good because we have one. So yeah, Colin Race Team versus PC Racing. Otherwise, it'd just Dude. be Faf Motorsports versus Sicko again, and that's not really a battle because no. he's sixty points ahead of me. <laughs> Yeah, I just gotta. Hopefully, I get fourth in this championship. I guess I want third, but you guys are too quick. Yeah. I oh, know you were quick tonight. I was, um, but if I I needed to do that for a few races, yeah, you know, like Bathurst, I should have got the podium there in front of Pacheco, so that would have got me points, but I didn't. So you know, just some races where you lose some points, and yeah. That's I was, okay. like, I was like surprised. I felt like tonight was definitely a better race for you than last week. Yeah, I felt good today. Um, I like this track anyway, but no, it, the tyre wear though was not really doing me any favours. Let's have a look actually before the first pit stop. It was, what? I think, a bit better than last week. I'm gonna go on lap six not... and see what our, all that tyre wear is like. And what shits me is I got a great start as usual, so if I started third like I was supposed to. <laughs> I still try to cover you, but uh, uh, by the time I get to move, you're there. Yeah, that's yeah. it, man. Alright, so, um, what are we doing for tyres? Well, Paco says his wear was horrible. Yeah, he was definitely complaining about his tyre, right? Yeah, you have got a tyre on me. Alright, lap five. Um, Is there a way I can see that person's coming? I think you have to go on the actual video and then there's a live comments thing or a comments thing maybe. So. Because I can see Mark's coming in the chat, but I can't see all of Yeah, my tire wear in the first stint's not too bad compared to yours. It's only like. I don't know. A little bit worse. So that was, you know, that, that was nice. It's actually comparable to Trent. That's kind of scary. Desert as well. Alright. How much fuel did you put in? I think it was 91% I had to put in. Yeah, I put in 80%. Yeah, because you pitted there later, so you could put in less. But the fuel rate's so high, no, it doesn't if matter. I later, if I pit in later, I put more in. No, if you pit later, you put in less. No, because... The longer I stay out, the more fuel I get. Yeah, so you put in less when to finish the race. So oh, actually, I don't know. I no, might eat, and I think no, it might equal out because I pit earlier. I put more fuel in, as in the, you know, I put in ninety one percent. I had to put in ninety one percent. You put in eighty percent, but you used more fuel before you stopped. So we technically do put yeah. in the same amount of fuel. Like, so in a way. The, the person who commented, his name is Ryan V I L J A E N. Okay, that's um, a weird random name. Random Nick first needs to finish six or higher. Really? No, nah, I thought Nick first really the champion. Yeah, he's, he's already the champ. He's already the. I think Fast is trying to not Fast. Fast is just trying to get the championship hopes of life first. Nah, I think his maths is just wrong. I'm not even focusing on the championship. My focus is on teams. But I think this is racing. Oh, hang on. No. No, what, what am I talking about? Solomon's right. Duh, I'm a fucking idiot. So you, you still have a chance. What's the gap? It's okay. The gap's um, 16 points. So yeah, the chip. Oh uh, yeah, holy shit. Okay. So can I send you over to Fast House and disconnect his internet? Hey, as long as he's got aircon, I'll definitely go over. <laughs> I just hope the raging tonight doesn't 
stairway to sell the drive. I do hope Mark's made basically. Because he wants to. He's just a um, nervous. No, that's cool. Fuck. Um, yeah. He, he was can't... the one I told you about that Mark's got a new fella that wants to race. Oh, okay. That okay. That, that sounds like it would be. Um, that's good. That's the best. Yeah, we need him, um, because we're on 11 at the moment. And if a couple sort of leave, then we need, you know, we need more. Like, I don't know if Christian, for example, comes back or not. Or, you know, he, maybe he just stays part time, which is fine. Who but, is this Christian Fast? Where is he? I'm not sure, he, um... Is that Vargas? Yeah, Christian Vargas, that's it. Yeah, didn't he race? No, he didn't race today. What? Asha Hossa did. <laughs> so, Nick Fast on the shiver listening to us, Mitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh... Yeah, he's Can listening to the podcast. Can you race the around fast? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a chance. I'm sick of coming second in this championship. Oh, you, came se- you came second once, didn't you? <laughs> I lost yeah. out to uh, Papa. Yeah, Michael Papa. He he got it and left near Rosberg. Yeah. No, he hasn't. He's already stuck around for his championship defence. Well, he's gonna. That's gonna make it triple. He's gonna do the triple. He's gonna do the triple. Fuck. Maybe. Depends, um, I only lost the start because I thought both tyres were mandatory. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, so fast for the first few rounds, he um, did the tyre strategy one. Do you remember that, Mitchell? He, he complained. Yeah. Well, not complaining, but realising, yeah, oh fuck. So in the first yeah, few rounds... He was using the softs. Yeah, well, softs and mediums. A couple of races it was fine because he won in Daytona. I yep. mean, to be fair, it made it equal between us, like all of us. Gave us a chance to actually win. <laughs> well, too fast. yeah, because in Japan, Jeremy Crow won those races, and then in Bathurst he won as well. So, the sin. Two o seven. Okay, I was doing two o seven threes last. Oh, I got two. Yeah, two o. Oh, I did a two o six last night. Fucking hell, Mitchell! You've got four second places this season. <laughs> yeah. That took me last season, I was just getting second, 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 like... <laughs> oh, yeah. I reckon oh, next, I reckon next race you get second, then you'll have five second places. Oh, damn, man. This is what it was like in Motor Motion, TCR, when I come second. Ah, I packed... the first round. Yeah. And then I was like second, second, fourth, second, sixth, second, second, second. Some of the races you... Oh, yeah, so you did alright, actually, overall. Um, what's his face? Paco. Or if it's Port, if it's Porsche, then no. <laughs> That's what Paco said, Jeremy has to run hard. I mean, no, Paco said Paco has to run hard. Next right, race. That, that'll definitely make it easier. <laughs> it probably would, yeah. yeah. Paco should run, run into us. So Faf said he will be back next year. Oh, that's good. As long as it's not the Porsche Cup. <laughs> good news. Fuck. <laughs> good news, guys. Bad news, guys. Fuck. <laughs> okay, okay. what's the set up for second? I'll uh, happily set up for second. Fuck. Nah, mate, you'll set up for fourth. Oh, uh, nah, I need my second or third. Fourth just feels shit because it's like I missed out on like getting something good. Didn't you finish second last season? I did, mate. I did, and I'm pretty proud of that. There you go. It was a good there season. Go. And then we all come back, and now you finished what, fourth? Fourth? Well, it's about where I am, so. I'm happy you guess about that, but still. Mark needs to step it up. He's definitely a lot faster than what position he's in. Mark, if he has a good race, he could challenge Faf on a good day. Like, and when he's, and he's on I, his day. I deserve all the credit for Jeremy's wins and Mark's podiums. I trained them up, you know. Yeah, you gave them your, um, you gave, um, you gave their race team your pit crew suits. That's why they're doing yeah. so good. Well, they sabotaged my, uh, Jeremy's race tonight, obviously. Faf says, 
I am not that much faster. I had luck tonight with no lag traffic. That is true. No not one. that much faster. Just two seconds quicker. <laughs> Monza should be a lot closer. I was actually surprised. My times did not match my times from last night. I was Think... no one near it. Yeah, so Faf, Faf says consistency is key. Speaking of times, he's just doing a 207 and 208 every lap. Well, we couldn't really do that. We were stuck in, in a battle. We had Leo for a bit, yeah, for the first battle, and then you had Mark at the second battle. Yeah, I was going to say, And you had me in the third Leo, battle. Was, yeah, that's what I mean. If it wasn't Leo, it was Mark in our way. <laughs> well, um, Mark wasn't really in our way. It was just on our rear. No, nah, Mark was on our rear. Oh, well, Mark does love the rear, hey? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's morphing that into is. the other Mark. <laughs> oh, no. How <laughs> <laughs> no, but That's he's got but he's got speed now, so it's alright. <laughs> this mark's better than the other mark. Actually, I'm gonna confirm what um Faf just said. Let's watch on his screen. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> that that's literally in what the other mark would say. Whatever. Oh he would, yeah. <laughs> Fuck I I, I, I hey, saw Mitchell. Hey Mitchell. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Then just try to say something smart, you know. This mark's definitely a lot better. <laughs> Absolutely. Does the other mark even race anymore? Or fuck. I know. I still got my sim. I'm, 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 I'm racing tonight, boys. <laughs> Actually, I've seen him being playing F1 a lot. Really? Yeah, and I was gonna message him say, "Wait, join the ETF one league." I, I have sort of invited him for lols a few races ago, and he said, yeah, "Thanks I've for seen the invite." That on your stream. That's right. Yeah, I should invite him again. Like tell him, yeah. Oh, he's Ooh. better. He's better than Steve Shadlow. Oh. Oh. Your number one supporter. <laughs> <laughs> yep, hundred percent. He messaged you tonight. Can I? Can I join? Join what? Oh, join um, <laughs> ETGT. Uh, yeah, you can join the stream, mate. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's still in the group, so like, you know, he he could technically yeah, still I saw join. That when I started the party chat, and I saw um, Fletcher was still there too. Oh, is he still in this one as well? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, I, he's never even fucking yeah. He hasn't joined or anything, so that's all right. But I know what you're saying. Fuck. Um, the, uh, let's have a look, this new guy, oh no, he's not joining yet, so this new guy, Don, is it Don? He's Don, yeah, is he's, that, um, he's joined, is the Don Mark? No, it's, um, Fez has found this guy. Oh, so there will be two new guys then, really? Hey, one more race. Anything can happen. My ass will be clenching because everyone will be trying to run me off the road. I'll be the first one to try. <laughs> yeah, that turn one's going to be... Fuck, the rest of the message got cut off there, but I saw most of it. That's great. Um, He's the black sheep. The black sheep. There we go. Yeah, look. Um, turn one's going to be great because there's a good run up to that turn. Like, you know, and I, and I get good starts, so watch out. Fuck it up. I shotgun qualifying last so I can avoid all the carnage. I need to know what is happening with... What, what do you mean? What Group 3 race series? What's this guy, what's this guy know? What's he talking about? Is this, um, Fez's mate? No, no, Pacheco has just texted into the podcast and he said... Uh, I, need to... I was going to say, I just see that. I think he said something oh, about... Did he say something about Porsches that got cut off? <laughs> it's, not, it's not coming up in the chat. Oh, but you saw, um... You were able to see fast, weren't you? Yeah, just, like it's fast as there, but not marks. Okay. They, they come up on your video, but not in the chat. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so Pacheco, he's, he's really waiting for um, some confirmation of what's going on next season. It's he next, says, it's come, next, come it's on. Next, it's next week, mate. You find out at Monza. Well done, everyone, and you suck, Mitchell. Yeah, I know I do. I'm not winning. I changed up the um, I changed up the orange on my livery as well on my number. It's a bit brighter. So you can see the 90 a lot clearer, yeah. Mate, 
the rear of your car was so bright in the sun. Yeah, the sun, huh? Yeah. That was nuts. I'm watching our battle, I mean, you have it's looking good for graphics and stuff, like, fucking hell. So, um, what Mark said just before, it's not coming up on the chat, but he says, too far away. Too so, far away, he's probably thinking he his said, pace. I'm confused though, because he says, come on, with the face palm, and then it says, too far away. Oh, yeah, too but far away. the other message? No, no, so too, message? too far away is next week. Oh, the other message, yeah, it hasn't come up again, has it? It hasn't come up yet, but it was on, it literally came up in the video. But it's not in the chat. In the, in the chat hey, so, um, I've just checked, Birdman is still using the Colin Racing team over it. <laughs> My team, literally, so we all run out of the same pit booth. We share a pit booth. You share a fucking washing machine too, it looks like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> can get you fucking overalls mixed up. Oh, so like it's just free for all. You got to come in and choose which overalls you want. Like first, you get the PC racing nah, ones or the Colin Racing Team ones. They they send their washing to us and we wash it. For them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pacheco said he'll change his clothes next week. Well, that's up to Jeremy. Would be like <laughs> he keeps Jeremy's forgetting. Make the race suit. <laughs> keeps forgetting to do the laundry. Because it was like no, that last like, season too. I'm like, oh, PC they, racing, the, you know, you get the help from Colin Racing. They just like Colin Racing team, mate. Yeah, they're big fans. They, they owe Colin Racing team a lot. You know? What happens if the championship is a tie? No, there won't be a tie. Well, if there is a tie, Nick Faf will still win because he has victories compared to Mitchell Gollum. I only have one victory. Yes, yeah, so what, five wins or whatever? Four wins compared to one, so yeah. Fastest lap, one point. <laughs> fastest lap, one point. Fastest lap, one point in Did a I shootout. Get a lap? Actually, that's not a bad idea. If we do like a, a top two shootout, and whoever gets the fastest lap <laughs> wins the championship. I was more close to winning the championship when I was versing Papa this season. Um, yeah, yeah. This season you haven't really been in contention. No, I don't know how I'm second. Um. Well, second's kind of like a victory in a way, but in I saying think it's that, because Jeremy yeah, missed the round. you're only 16 points behind Faf. Like, yeah, share the wins, Faf, please. Come on, and <laughs> Jeremy. So, Faf only had a bad race in how come he didn't win last? Oh, you won last time, yeah, that's right. I won last round, yeah, because you because the first corner you fucking owned it, and then Faf he was going backwards for some reason. He went from first to like seventh, I think, in the first lap. Or the first two laps. Not Fuck. Good. I've got to get my notebook and out and write some shit that I, happened I do remember race. seeing the, the gap, like, before Faf caught up to me. It was like nearly 10 or 19 seconds or something. And then the last couple laps, it was like less than fucking a second. What, in which race? In the race. Last round. Oh. He caught that gap right there. I think that just felt like letting someone else go in the last round. <laughs> just to spice things up a bit? Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have told him about the tyre situation. Let him keep going for what he was doing. Yes, it's a random edition. Oh wow, Leo is ghosting inside of you at the last one. What's um... I think, what, what lap what did Leo hit me? I think it was four. This is yeah, it was lap four. one. Yeah, it's definitely lap four he hit me. He hit you on lap one as well. At the last corner. And then he gets flung off. Oh really? That was weird. Yeah. He was inside your car. Actually, I haven't watched this yet. Let's have... Oh, he turns into you on the uh, camel straight. Jeez. Fuck, he goes on the outside. He almost overtakes me. Fuck. All right, so this is where he hits me. What happens? What happens on the replay? Absolutely awful camera angle there. Eh? That's just great. I 
feel like it was the server's issue tonight. Yeah, if, when cars are sort of a bit dodgy on the track, it's not great. No. Man, Ooh. really hard to pass. On my replay, you hit him and then he hits me. <laughs> Into, um, when you got the damage? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because he goes inside me. Let's see if I can find it. So like on your stream, it'll it'll probably look different. To, your different your repo will probably look different too to the stream because so yeah, on, stream, yeah, yeah, it's just it's just silly because yeah, it looks like yeah, looks like you hit him. Yeah, no, nah, on my replay, I don't even touch him on my actual replay. I'll see if he's touched on mine. It's hard to tell though because of the camera angles. It's a bit. Oh yeah, the bonnet cam's not that bad. Double it. Well, what the hell? So going into that flip corner on the long straight, he comes out of nowhere and he hits me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that's what I noticed uh, too. Uh, he just shoved his way past, and then he's alongside you. Yeah, on yeah, and exactly. He basically hits you. Because only he had the soft tires. He's got more grip. It's like holy shit. So, it's a bit dirty though. It's a bit of a dirty move. Oh, I was. I could see what he was going for because. Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah, on my screen. So, yeah, you um, yeah, you do hit Leo, but you get no well, damage. On my screen, at <laughs> first person here, I don't even touch him. But do you lunge into him at all? Like, what does it look no, like? Definitely not. What what happens on yours? Is there like a so consistent going, gap between me and, uh, sorry, between you and him? Yeah, yeah, I braked earlier than both of you is. And he hits, yeah, he... Watch yeah, it's fucking, you. yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, nah, he, yeah. <laughs> I reckon the server's confused. There's probably like five different things that can happen. It just gets out five options in the replays. So yeah, in the replay I'm playing, the gap stays the same between me and him, there's a little gap. And then he just gets flung forward and smacks you. On and it, in the race too, th yeah, doesn't he teleport back after he hits me? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I saw that happen on the map. He teleported in back inside my car. <laughs> <laughs> it was the trippiest shit ever. That's weird. And then going into, you know, that double left handle? Yes. I had to keep wrecking really early because for some reason every time there, he would just teleport back. So there'll be a gap between us and then he would teleport right on my car. It freaked me out. Yeah, it's not good in a fast corner. <laughs> Yeah, on my screen, I definitely don't touch him. I mean, just, yeah, that's weird. I'll have to send that Oh, in. hey, oh, hang on, hang on. There, there we go. I remember what you said in, so that five when, um, when Leo spins in the corner. Yeah. I just saw it, let's have a look. Oh I think, uh, Jesus! You just a double on my screen. Yeah. On my screen, he's like spinning before I even like like I'm turning in the corner and he's spinning. But it, the way he's spinning, it looks like he's hit. But on my screen, I'm fucking turning in the corner and he just does a loop. Oh, and you know what? You also stop like you've hit the car as well. Yeah. What did, the yeah. what the hell? Yeah, I see, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That's weird. And then oh. you can hear the noise. Oh, can you? I think. Oh, no, I think that's him hitting the barrier. Yeah, it might be him touching the barrier. So, Fab said no heavy damage for Monza. Well, <laughs> uh, I mean, that, yeah, we'll turn it off just for turn one. <laughs> oh, jeez, yeah, that, yeah, fucking hell. Look, going into turn one, he literally teleports back towards me on my screen. 
so there's a gap. Oh, and really? It basically stops. Hang on. How did he get back in front of you when he spins? Let's watch this. Oh, because he's oh, next dude. to you. When you watch it from his on board of mine, it looks like he just hits the handbrake. <laughs> yeah. He probably from his roof cam. He probably put a bit too much throttle on. Let's have a look. I'm looking at his telemetry. Oh, his tyres are gone. He's got front damage as well. Oh, that's from before. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Let's watch. Does he put the throttle on? Yeah, but he's got he's got traction control. But yeah, okay. Because of, on his screen, like on his point of view, it looks like I just did it because he spun in front of me. <laughs> Fuck! I hate to be a steward. <laughs> I can only be a steward if people submit footage and no one submits yeah. anything because it's all good. Well, there's no steward. There's a lot of rage. Well, there was a few races ago someone could have submitted something they didn't end up doing it. I forgot yeah. what it was. It was Jared, one of the PC guys. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. I, but for, so I forgot what happened. Like, someone hit him or they hit someone or... Uh, I forgot. Jeremy, that's fun. I'm off, boys. Catch you tomorrow night for F1. <laughs> oh, who's that? Taco. Oh, Taco down No, I think he's just, yeah, no, he just watches, I think. Second last round yes, of the one. season. Yeah, yeah Fez, yeah. Do you know fucking Fez is on the verge of winning the fucking F1 championship? Fez up? Yeah. Have you been checking the points? No. He's only he's like... Who's um, the dude that keeps winning? He's he's the, yeah, he's in the lead, but Fez is not far behind, and apparently the other guy's not going to... Like, he's missing out this week, if he's on holiday. Oh, yeah. But so we're not sure yet. If, even if that's the grease, old mate does the handbrake. It looks like he hits the handbrake. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. No, he doesn't, because it doesn't come up on the thing, but, like... I'll double-check it anyway. Let's have a look. Because I'm just mid-corner when his car already starts to spin. And then as I'm just past mid-corner, his car's already angled in front of me. I'm hitting his door. Yeah, he doesn't put the handbrake on. It doesn't show up, but it does look like it for sure. Because he stops really suddenly. Yeah, and then his car's veering off to the right. Yeah, it's like a rally, like rally car. Like, it's a rally surely cross. He's not, surely he's not losing control of trash control. Nah, his soft tyres are pretty worn, so that's kind of... You know, it, it says traction control, but it doesn't say how much. He could be using one. He could be using five. But like on his screen, do I hit him? Do I spin him? But like, yeah, like what? Oh, that's weird. Maybe on someone's replay, it does show that. Well, on his footage, it probably. Will. I don't know because. Oh no! Fuck, who knows? Yeah. It looks clear as day that he was spinning before I got him. I like that, mate. Like, my internet's running at 80 megs per second, or whatever. And it's like. Saturday? Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, fuck me. Seven days you'll know about next season. The start date hasn't changed, that's... Wait, let me double check the start date. Uh, I think we need to know earlier so we can get a head start on Faf. <laughs> yeah, but uh, if I tell you in the podcast, Faf's listening. I'll have to message it to you. Is your martini stripe on an angle on the side of your car? No, definitely not. The camera angle looks like it had. Oh, really? Yeah, that looks like it's on an angle. What the hell? Could just be the camera angle then, yeah. Like the front water. Yeah, man, I think. 
Uh, I mean, it could be wrong. Maybe it is. Yes, so 20th of December, you will find out the cars and tracks selection. And then we start on the 24th of January. You've got one, two, three, five weeks to prepare. I think that's plenty of time. And isn't the photo end of that? That looks like the Martini Schnapps. I just watched um, Harsha Hustle shove Leo off the circuit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep, I'm going to have a look at this photo. What well, lap was that? Lap six, halfway through the circuit. Just, yeah. Whew. Oh dear, oh, he goes straight through. I think everyone's complaining about Leo's lag tonight. I'm watching, I'm looking at the photo. Which part of the... Yeah, I can see what you're saying. It looks like it's going Martini down. Strap. It looks like... At the front, it looks like it's going up. Yeah, like... No, nah, you know what it is? It's the car going up. Like, the the line on the car that goes... Like, that, that's just underneath Sicko Martini Racing and then ETGT League. Like, that line in the car, that goes on an angle. So it makes it look Are like... Yeah, yeah, because if you look at the car in your garage or whatever, that line's not like a, it's not straight. It goes on an angle. I think I know why you thought your sim was on a, your sim set was on an angle. Well, I'm definitely not on an angle. (laughs) Your martini strap from the freaking angle. The ones on my, um, on the rear wing are definitely on an angle. Oh yeah, 100% angle. Now that's great, what are you on about? (laughs) Well, it looks like they connect with the side one, like this should be, you know, the rest of the circle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got a, I've got a special delivery for next um, next round too. Just got a. Yeah. Well, PC Racing's delivery didn't really help them out tonight. Well, it helped one car out. Obviously, Pen- the, the oh, the, the Penzo delivery. Yeah. I'm gonna chuck my delivery on now so I don't forget. Yeah, obviously you could tell that the flea for Jeremy didn't help his performance. Oh no, he was um, he was nowhere. Yeah, that was a bit of a shock to the system. Oh, I'm not going to get pinged by the fucking copyright because it's all Christmas music. That's nice. Lol. That's uh, yeah, Maybe damn. You that livery, uh, I had a fun race with it, but it didn't give me a podium, unfortunately. Thanks to me. Oh, you and Leo. Yeah, you like- and Leo. He's both fucking <laughs> shiv- shivity shivity. And I was involved in both. <laughs> oh dear. Bloody yeah, dirty yeah, drives. Great view for both. Mm. Actually, what happened again in the second one? Oh, that's right. We need to just fucking plow it. into me. Plow into you. <laughs> oh, make it sound dramatic. Oh, you just would have got me the next lap anyway. Like, you just finished like five seconds ahead. Yeah, I was, I was too impatient because Mark was right there, mate. Mark ran a train on both of us. Well, you got him at the end. That was likely, extremely likely. Oh, imagine if you didn't and Mark Pacheco would have got 10th to 2nd, like, from the first lap, which is just insane. Yeah, that's epic. Oh, that's two races in a row that I've stole, like, 2nd place off the last corner. Or 2nd last corner. Where was the, the um, where was the other one? Oh, for me in Japan, oh, not, too. Not in a row, at Austria, yeah. Oh, and Austria? What happened at Austria? Remember at the third, la- the second last corner? Oh, yeah, when I Sim- fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, that... Yeah, so it's just little things like that that ruin my fucking races. And then I'd be a bit closer Austria to you. I think that was podium, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, no, it was for fifth or fourth. Let's have a look. I'm going to have a look at the standings. So... At Austria, you finished. Yeah, fuck's sake, Giggles for the podium. You finished third. Yeah. I finished fourth. And then again tonight, I took it off Mark on the last corner. Yeah, that was that, that was nice. I would have. Well, hang on. Yeah, Bathurst could have been the same deal, but I fucked up and Mark got the podium. So that's. Yeah, I was nowhere at Bathurst. 
Uh, Bathus, you got. Oh, uh, you got. You came fifth. You were just behind. Yes, well, you went. You were behind me, but yeah, not not just behind you. Yeah. Well, every season Bathus, yes. you can redeem yourself at Bathus. There's always another shot. Mate, every season, it always happens, the same thing happens, just nowhere. <laughs> Something happens to you, yeah. I was lucky at Team Australia at race two. Yeah, race we, fixed I, there. Think, I think you came second or third. Yeah, I did. I think it was third. Yep, season you one. you had the break issue that time. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did later on in the race. Season one, you were at your brother's house for a barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> season two, oh. yeah, that was Team Australia. Season three in the Porsche. Don't really remember what you did uh, at Bathurst there. Just you know, one of those Probably nothing spun races. Probably in the Porsche. <laughs> well, that was the um, road car Porsche. Yeah, the GT4. I was in the SP2 livery. That's it. That was sick. I don't even remember where. I think I would have finished like fourth and fifth. I think you actually got a podium in one of those races. Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I think I battled Harry. Yeah, something like that. And then in season four, you finished wherever you finished there. Nowhere. Oh, I think you finished fifth, yeah. Oh, that's right, because you spun in the race, slightly. Did I? What car were we using then? You were in the Last Porsche. Porsche. Last season, yeah. And I spun. Where did I spin? You spun coming out of the last turn. You put a bit too much throttle on. I actually put it in one of the highlights. You were part oh, of the highlight right, package. That, yes, I do remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people spun that race. Um, Peter Tongo, Nick Faf, turn one. You at the last turn. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. No, I won. Fuck yeah. Good stuff. I'm never, never forgetting that one. Jeez. And then, season five, which is what we're doing now. It's almost finished. Yeah, this season's gone way too quick. It sort of felt like it was starting off, kind of, not slow, but it's like, okay, season's happening, and then all of a sudden, yeah, you're right. Hang on. Yeah. Okay, and meanwhile, Mode Motion season dragged well out. How many races do they do? Do you know? It's like 12 seven. or something. Oh, there's only seven. Seven or eight. Yeah. But, I think but, it was eight this season. Oh, but it feels like they go for a lot longer. Nah. It's because it's like a two-week break or so in between. Oh, is it? Okay. And, they, and then they do TCI one week and then Civ Plus the next week. Uh, TCI next. That's why. But then no more. Yeah, that's um. I was hoping maybe a couple of them would, you know. The they red symbol would. does come. It, really? Okay, so that's making me bring up the replay again. Alright, um, what are we talking about? They uh, recruit some of the motor motion yeah. drivers. Any of them are worthy of coming over, or have you already done that with Pacheco and um, Jeremy Crow? <laughs> I reckon some of them probably could. Because, I mean, we'll find out how much space we have, but I think we really have a spot for at least a couple of fucking people. Jeez. I just try to approach the solo drivers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like if, you know, if there was anyone that you know, we were kind of friends with or whatever, I don't know. Fuck. But if not, yeah, it's all right too. Yeah, because if the racing is no more, then you know, some people might still want to race. Well, they're saying extended break in 2024, so that's next year. So obviously. Well, by comparison, next year's already planned out for ETGT, so bring it on. Oh yeah. Like literally, we've got three seasons. It's the same format. Every four months, we do a season, and yeah, it's all it's all penciled in. <laughs> nice. I think, also, I think we're doing 10 races next season. Just to bring it up a bit. So, are we... Oh, well, we'll find out next week. But, I mean, are you following off by the votes? Um, on the graph? It, yes, it's, it's, it's a guide, you know. It's a tool that I've used to gauge what people want and said and, you know, what's going on. So it could be grade three then, eh? But what cars? Or cars? Yeah, that, I'm very, that, I'm very intrigued to know, eh? So this is why the votes are interesting, because I give you the classes of what we can do, but I haven't told you the car or the track that we're doing for each, like, thing. Yeah. I kind of regret not voting grade four now, because I want to race the um, Mazda. Oh, yeah. 
I made the livery look sick on that car. So. Even if you voted for the group four, there wasn't enough votes. It would have yeah, been. Yeah, there wasn't enough votes. It would have yeah. been four of us. Maybe you could have coaxed someone to do five votes, but it probably would have been tied. I don't know. Actually, it would have been tied. I feel like we haven't done grade three in ages. So. We did grade three last season. <laughs> yeah, but just in the Porsche though. Like. Oh, you were in the Porsche. Yeah, like yeah. Because then the season before that was also the Porsche, like the GT4. Yeah, the road car. Yeah. And then before that was the Mustang. Oh, yeah. As I haven't driven the Mustang since then. So you haven't driven a Group 3 or Group 4 Mustang since then, huh? Oh, well, I did it in the insurance race with Blake, but that was like the last time. But then before that was literally since that um that our league race. Fuck, okay. I think it's the same yeah. for me, though, actually. Yeah, for both the Mustangs. That was a good car, though. Mm. Like, I tested about four or five cars, and just that Mustang just kept showing itself, man. Like, yeah. fuck. I just couldn't say no. I want to do more endurance races, too. That was fun with Blake doing that. That was how they stepped that. That was sick. How long was the race? So, they were, like, 20-minute races split into four. Yep. So, like, I do the first stint, then Blake jumped in the lobby and did a stint. Oh, okay. And then at the end, the times get out of lot. Oh, jeez. That's, um, that's quite an operation. Yeah, well, Kane knows what he's doing. I mean, it makes sense. He it's it's, it's so. stage racing, basically, in a sense. Like, mm. And if you get the times and you can sort of add them up, then you can work something out. That's kind of cool. You yeah. kind of get driver like, swaps involved, you know? No, if you have a free on a Friday night, jump in the Friday night fun lobbies with Kane. And that. It's fucking good. And you'll find out more info. Yeah, maybe if my, um, like, because I'm, like, after Thursdays, after F1, if my sim's still set up on Friday, I could, yeah, just jump on, you know. Oh, lobbies. that's right. You fold your sim up. Yeah. It's not, um, it's not, it's not too much of a drag, but yeah, I do fold it up. Actually, I'll send a photo of my, um, I'll send a photo of my setup right now. See what yeah, you do. see. Um, so show you what's uh, yeah, where the racing happens with the GC with the um chair too, like with the whole thing. Like, actually, I'll send two photos because you need a sort of yeah, what I'll do. Oh, I, I just still never understand the downgrade. Oh, it's, I needed the space, that's all it is. Mm. <laughs> I it's that. I, honestly, though, I, if I, once I get a better seat, it's not going to make a difference. It's, it's the yeah. wheel. It's the wheel that I need to, yeah, upgrade and look into eventually. Everything's still so expensive, though. Like, yeah, I, I, I can't afford a direct drive, even the cheap one. Like, they're not, you know. It's just... But maybe a Thrustmaster GT, like, um, like what's his face has, um. Feather might be the way to go. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards the wheel Mark got with the um, GD free wheel, the uh, McLaren wheel. Is that a Fanatic, I it think... sounds like? Yeah, the um, DD Pro, I think he's got. Yeah, that's the cheaper DD, yes. yes. I'm thinking of going that way once my wheel dies, but I feel like I got the top of the line wheel. You still do. You, yeah, yeah. You, you still do. Right, so that's... Thanks to Blake, it works now. Oh, that's right. You're having issues with your firmware and stuff for a bit. Yeah, it kept bricking. That's it. It wouldn't do the update. The update kept crashing it and fucking it up. So he helped you out with that, yeah? Yeah. That's good. We figured it out. Oh, look at that. So tiny. I just can't believe you're using a computer chair, mate. <laughs> I don't know, no wonder you, you're like falling off your pace, mate, because you end up in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The first race with the rig, you were saying I was in the kitchen or outside in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that that would be perfect for me because then I can slide off during the mid, during when I do a pit stop, oh, I can slide off to the microwave. Get your party get pies. Get party pies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. Actual pit stop. There'd be, there's enough time, too. Yeah, oh, without focusing the race battle on you guys, I didn't wouldn't even notice that I've slid off into the kitchen for party players. 
Yeah, um, my brain's like party pies. Yeah, you just stay in the kitchen and eat them, and you know, you realize, oh <laughs> fuck, I'm a lap down. Yeah, I didn't realize I paused. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, put the AI racing instead. Mm, yeah. Oh, you got a curved TV, eh? A curved monitor, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Monitor. Yeah, the monitor is. The monitor's the best part of the setup. It's better than the rig. It's better than the wheel. It's better than yeah. the chair. Like it's the yeah. I need a, I need a monitor to use my PC with because it's not good with the TV, especially on iRacing racing and that. Oh, your setup's um, your setup's not ideal just because of you don't have a place for a keyboard and mouse either when you're sitting in the rig. Yeah, I got a keyboard mouse. Oh yeah, and okay, okay, no, that's good. Um. No, your, it's just your, the monitor now. No, your TV should be fine. Like, it's a 4K tally, and it does 60 frames a second. Oh, trust me. I, I see the difference between my brother's games on his PC than what it is on mine. Well, obviously, like, your screen, if you shrink that image down, the image is going to look sharper yeah, and nicer. Yeah, better. Yeah. yeah. So, if you have a monitor, then, yeah, it will look um, nicer. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, it depends. If you want a smaller... Nicer looking screen or a bigger, you know, less nicer looking screen. True. I personally prefer bigger. Prefer that's why. Bigger. I, that, that's why I got yeah. 30, a thirty-two inch monitor because it's like it's huge. <laughs> yeah, and you put it right up, and it takes mm. up the same distance as like a fifty-five inch. That's maybe a meter behind. You know. Yeah. But um, yeah. overall, I ah. Uh, I don't regret buying the 32 inch, but it certainly was an investment. It was like 500 bucks, I think. Like, pretty sure Blake's got like an 80 inch TV now. Too bad Jeez. he's not putting it on his sim. Oh, he could. Fuck. If, he, he if, if, he's, if his sim had wheels on it, he could roll in front of the TV and it'd be big enough to fucking play with. Like. Yeah. I don't know what sort of setup he's got, like whether he can move he's got, his rig. You know the Alpines, the Alpine setup, Sim? Oh, the track racer one, yeah. Yeah, he's got that, the tube one, but it's just not as Alpine. Oh, the tube one, yeah. I the, know what he's got. Um, TR, TR8, I think 7, it is. TR, oh, yeah, TR8 or TR7. Yeah. I think, I think it's TR8, yeah. It's, it's got the yeah. tubing, yeah, instead of what we've yes, got or what it. you had, yeah, or what I had. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I know exactly what one he's got. It would actually is does look like a decent sim, and for the price, it's probably not mm. bad too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a shame I'll never buy it because it's track racer, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, oh, it's fine. Shit. Look, I'm gonna make a. I'm literally gonna dedicate a track racer fucking livery for you. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> You're gonna fucking. You'll be like, where is this car? I'm gonna bin it. You're gonna make a sicko motorsport <laughs> livery and put track racer as my sponsor. Yeah, your main sponsor. Yeah, you can put all the shit hey. I hate, like track racer, Maccas. And old mate. Um, <laughs> st- dump bomb. You could put F1 OWC, oh, yeah. like, you know. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, F1 OWC, yeah. I, um, that, that's a, I have a weird history. So do you, actually, with that fucking series. Jeez. We come, yeah, we, we go well, back, back, we leave. I did a few times, yeah. Um, In between. Yeah, yeah. It, ETF you went one. back to it, so I went back to it. <laughs> yeah. This was after ETF1 folded. Yes, I do remember this, because I remember battling yeah, Arthur remember... Chisenga a lot. Yeah, I remember I watched the YouTube video once. And oh, I saw yeah? your name was back in it, and I was like, excuse me? <laughs> no wonder ETF1 folded. If I could stop ETF1 and go back to F1 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah And then I think I went back to it, and then you didn't race. I there was a, yes, again. there was a period where you raced in it and I didn't. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And, and then, then it just folded completely. It kind of did fold completely, and then it came back for a bit, and then it's gone now. Well, did it come back? Well, because I know when I last raced, it folded completely. Dylan that's, didn't have the time. No, that's when it folded, like forever. Um, you, me, Harry, yeah. we're all there for the last race and stuff. Um. Fuck, you but, were? But, but before then, I don't know if F1 No WC had like a few months off and then they came back for like season 10 or something. And that's when Possibly. I came back. That's what I'm thinking of, yeah. But um, no, no, we were there for like the end, like the absolute fucking finish, yeah. 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 I remember, no, I think I, I come back at like season 8 or 9. No, 7 or 8. It was something then, like that, yeah. 
And then they did the final season. Yes, that sounds about right. So I would have came back for season six, maybe season eight somewhere as well. Because I remember I was in a Renault, I think, for a bit. Well, I saw... I remember coming back because I saw you racing in the Williams with, um... Oh, some dude. Ooh. Oh, it wasn't I um think of it now. Oh no, I was thinking about someone else. That was a B. Mm. I think it was B, something B. Okay, okay. I, I have... remember you were in the Williams with him and he ne- he never showed up. I have a lot of uh the F one LWC season ten races. I have all of them on my Sicko Motorsport page. They're the first videos I put up. So they might be there. Ah, yuck. <laughs> yeah, go back and watch them, mate. My favourite part is, I remember the big biff between D- Dylan and um, Daniel Holland, with Dylan fucking basically oh, using Holland oh, and yes. hands. Yes, yes. And now they're like besties. Yeah. So, like, what happened was fucking, yeah, Dylan posted something and then you have to take the post down, yeah. Yeah, and there was a big thing over it. Are they friends the again, are they? was going on saying you can't do that. Yeah, they're like besties. Oh, jeez. They're, like, uh, liking each other's shit and all that. I'm just like, dude, he stole your fucking pace your, your, and all that shit. All your graphics and stuff, yeah. Track stars. Yeah. He was using it, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. He was using it for a fun WC or something, wasn't it? Yeah. I still remember Daniel's comment saying that you can't, you can't just... Without permission. And then I remember Dylan went off and then he deleted his pay, pay post yeah. or whatever. Uh, yep, yep, that sounds familiar. Yep. Yep, yep. I remember as bright as day. Good I've times. got, I do have Dan Holden on my Facebook still, but Dylan doesn't appear in yeah, his. Yeah, same. So. I, un- I unfriended Dylan. Oh, that's, that's fine. I think he unfriended me. I, <laughs> I, yeah, he would have. Sure. Actually, no, I think we are friends on Facebook. Let's have a look. Wow. Let me have a look. I unfriended Steve. Yep. And Fletcher as well. Pretty much all the old fellas. All the other old guys. All the, people. All, all the dump bomb guys. Yeah. Were you oh, even yeah. friends with any of them? Fuck. Nah, just Fletcher, Steve. I think I might still have um, oh, Andy. Andy. I don't know. I'm not sure, actually. Ah, uh, so Dylan Anderson, I, I'm, I don't have him as a friend, but I'm following him. Mm. Oh, fuck following him. Jesus. No, I'll say, only one mutual friend, though. Everyone's unfriended him. Fuck it all. Yeah, damn right. Oh, well, fucking, you know, Doolin Anderson. Um, for, well, fortunately or unfortunately, he'll always be remembered because he was the first guy it did league racing with. And the fact that he still got my season three trophy. <laughs> And I've still got season four ribbons of people and shit. Yeah. Uh, so the only dive bomber guy I'm still friends with is Ben Kite. Yeah, that makes sense. Because he, because he was the only decent one of the lot. He was the only decent one and the only one who could like half race and he had the fucking biggest disability mm. in terms of racing because he had to use his chin. Well, was it him that had to use his chin? Are you sure? Yeah, Ben. Yes, it was ben because Kite, yeah. he, I made him prove it. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You made, he had to post a video to prove it, and he did. Yeah. Like, fuck, man. God, I was an asshole back then. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, he fucking shows the video. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, so he's the only one I'm friends with still in that mob. No, Ooh, no, that's good. A that's a good. It's a shame that... um. Jesus Christ, that car looks good. Um, um, so, who's H-U, H-U, H-U-F-U? Is that your account? Who, who? H-U-F-U. Is that yeah. your account? Because you're... That's who, who. So it is. Who, who, yeah. No, that's Harry okay. Ryan. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember adding this guy. <laughs> no, he changed his name. So that's what it would have been. Oh, is that the emoji one? Ah, uh, yeah, yes. Emoji. That's right. Yeah, that guy. Bloody Harry. Um, doesn't even comment on the streams anymore. Doesn't even fucking watch the streams. Yeah, what a, what a fucking... Yeah. yeah he, he's got to come back and race. He was fucking... I see Oscar's still in the chat too. 
I saw him oh, online a few days ago, actually, yeah. Yeah. That was well, nice. That was nice. I was watching um, the very first ETGT race, and I was going through the grid walk, and um, it's just a shame how many of them aren't on the grid. Yeah. Like, half of them. Like, Peter's not here at the moment. But that's fine. Like, yeah, he'll come back. Um, Harry's gone. For like, one or two rounds. And then, yeah, I, I honestly can't believe Harry's gone. Oh, he just doesn't race at all. Yeah, he's anything. Yeah. Like, fuck. That that's kind of shit. sad. I yeah, miss Harry. He was yeah, great. He the was banter. he was on pace with us. Good guy to have in the chat. Yeah, like, was, yeah. Yeah, always a couple of tenths quicker than me with that wheel. And we bought our wheels around the same time. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, okay. No, that's good. So, yeah, he's, you know... He's not racing. And then um, a lot of the dive bomb guys were in that fucking grid too, like Chris Turnbull. Um, mm. Bear Andy Wait, if you remember him. Yeah, I just I just saw it. I'm not friends with him anymore. Um, he was the guy I thought I was still friends with. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, who else? B1 was on the grid, but that's, you know. He got taken out the, like, of the thing. Oh, he, he, was too slow. he was just fucking shit. I've never seen someone that slow. That was, yeah, that's next level. I've, like, I know Trent's slow, but wow, he makes Trent look fast. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. right. I can't, I'm not going to take credit away from Trent. He's fast, especially on F1. He's got, he's sometimes, when he's on his day, and he's had a few seasons where he's been good, he's certainly better than he used to be. Yeah. He's yeah, he's he's all right. Like on his day, he's he's beating me in F one at the moment, pretty much. Yeah, that's that's what I'm shocked about. Oh, yes, yeah, just I can't and get the Blake, tips. Poor old Blake doesn't doesn't know why, but he he's slow on F one now. <laughs> he's he's gonna go to the controller. I told him to maybe yeah use the controller because he might be quicker. Mm. That's like I had to for a bit. Stupid. Yeah, I, I really hope I run into B1 in a random lobby, like on a Friday night fun lobby, and he's like super fast. Yeah, he's just I been really pra- just just been practicing, like you know, ever since he got kicked out of the league. He's used that as motivation, you know. Yeah, that would be sick. Him and uh, who else was on the grid that day? Uh, it was about nine or ten of us. Michael Papa was there, but he missed the first race. He was in the we second need Brad race. Back. Fucking oath. Brad was all right on his day too, like in terms of speed when he was actually like practicing. I and stuff. remember the, I missed those days in F one OWC with him, how bad it was. Like he's raging. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I still remember when Brent and Ross shortcut a turn one and Brad really went off oh, because he hit, I remember he took out Brad. I've still got footage of that on my channel. Um the Mr. Yeah. Sarte channel. Yes. The first race, season five, and Brenton Ross hit Brad and you hear him, and then you hear Brad like five seconds later just go, oh, yeah. fuck off. Oh. It's like you just hear like the yeah. raging. Uh, God. We need Brad back, honestly. He needs to be racing. We'll get Brad back, yeah. I think, when he. Um, when he's single. Yeah, when he's single and splits <laughs> up with his fucking family that he's with at the moment. Actually, I don't know if I'm even friends with Brad anymore. Oh, you would be. He doesn't move I thought people. I was, but I haven't seen him post anymore. He doesn't post much. I see him oh, like... I am po- too, yeah. We're still friends. I see him like and comments, but yeah, not so much posting mm. stuff. Yeah, Brad, um, he actually hasn't raced in ETGT ever as well. Which yeah, is not shit. not in ETGT, it's not- been F1, uh, ETF1. Yeah. ETF1, he raced you know, a few races here and there. He came back for season four for a bit and then just nothing. ETGT, zero. He's played Grand Turismo like twice, I think. Yeah, no. Nah. I, I just want all the LP, like all the good people we race with to race on in cars, like touring cars, like Grand Turismo, not F1. Because oh, I just want to do cars, tin tops. I can't do F1 anymore. Well, I should change F1 in Gran Turismo, hey? <laughs> you probably That's... will, hey? Do it in open world. Cheap, cheap, if we, cars, if we huh? did, it would be the um the Super Formula. I'll be out. I I don't know what it is, but I'm, I just want to do tin tops. Nah, you, you'd you be racing, mate. You have nowhere else to go. Nah. <laughs> N- yeah, I'll have a season off. <laughs> 
No, nah, it's Gran Turismo. It doesn't drive like Formula One, though. That's the thing. Well, the games are completely I've different. Never, I've never tested the open wheels on this game yet. Well, this, well, well there's, no, uh, there's no races you actually need to use them for, so no one's actually really... Like, in the campaign, for example, there's no, like, super formula. Mm. I, I, I forget they're in the that, game, too. Yeah, I know um, that they're in the game because of uh, CP racing users of, in track stars. There was, yeah, series. I saw them posting about it. It was a few months ago, I think. They did, yeah, super mm, formula yeah. series. And... and I'm just like, yuck. No, they're good. Like they've, they've got the DRS and the push to pass, I think, too. Yeah, but it's open wheel. Yeah. <laughs> it's a no for me. Ah, can't be like that, mate. Racing's racing. No, it's ten tops. you got to think, it, but it's Gran Turismo. It's the game that makes it, like, fun or not. Like, F1 as a game to play is worse compared to Gran Turismo. You, chuck it, you jump in that super yeah. formula, it'll be, you know, like you're racing this game. Mate, you know what's even worse? Four's a motorsport. Holy shit. Wouldn't know. We don't no. play it. I tr- uh, I'm trying to get my wheel to work on it, and it doesn't work. I can't trying... even use my controller. I have are to you, use a uh, keyboard and mouse. Are you trying the new game? Yeah, the new Forza game. Yeah, uh, there's always going to be and problems at launch with that sort of shit. The steering input is so wrong. Like, you steer... It doesn't kick in until you steer even more. It, like, it just doesn't feel right. It feels like there's a dead spot. Massive one at it. Well, they generally use in road cars if you're using road cars to test it. No, I, I choose... To, yeah, I used the touring car. The, um, uh, what car was it? Fuck. Oh, I can't even think of the car now. It's the British turn cars. Oh, what is it? The newer ones or older ones? Uh, newer ones. Uh, um, oh, the, it's not the Ford Focus, is it? No, no, no. You have to buy that. It's okay. real money. Okay. Um, uh, it might have been a Citroen. Hmm. This turn car, I kind of think. No, Volkswagen. Oh, all right, like a Golf or something. Some, oh, I can't think of it. Or was it the Hyundai i30? Could have been even that. Yeah, probably. They seem to be popular. It might have been. It, it might be. Might have been that. No, no, I could barely even get into a lobby. I don't know how that game works. But uh, I'm watching it, YouTube. It, I follow it doesn't. this guy. <laughs> yeah, true. I follow this guy on YouTube, and every time he races on that, it eggs me on because it looks so cool. But then. When I jump on, it's just not. There's some not. there's some things in the game that are good. You know, it's got some good cars and graphics are good and it's got some good options, whatever. But yeah, as you say, if it's kind of shit, it's kind of shit. It's kind of like this game where it's like, yeah, I don't know. At least this game works, I guess. Oh, did you hear that it got the game of the year or something? The new Forza game? Mm, it I, beat Gran Turismo. Uh, because... I know something beat Gran Turismo. It was Forza, wasn't it? It's Hang because on. Gran Turismo has already been out for a year. Yeah, it probably won it last Forza. year. I think for I don't know if it was Game of the Year, but Forza won something. It probably won Racing Game of the Year. I'm going to check. I'm going to check. It shouldn't have. It's a fucking um, trash game. It has more negative reviews than anything. <laughs> yeah, I think on Steam it's mostly negative, isn't it? If it's on yeah, Steam. Yeah, on Steam it is. It's all <laughs> negative. It's not, it's not positive. And next minute it wins an award. It's like, what? Well, there was no other racing games out this year, which kind of, you know, there you go, I guess, but still. Well, how does it even go into a competition to win? Well, if, if, if there's no competition, yeah, like it just wins, right? Like, yeah, fuck. It shouldn't even be a competition then if it's the only racing game. Well, it's I guess that's why they call it an awards night because they just give an award randomly. It's like, oh, we'll just pause it. Here you go. Yeah, exactly. That's like a free award for nothing. So apparently that Forza won two awards. Yeah, I don't know why. Here's what they got. They got two trophies. One for... Okay. And the other one was, yeah, best sports slash racing game. Best sports game. Never mind racing game. They won the best sports game. 
Ah, that's nah. <laughs> it should no way, no way. That's fucked. That is pretty fucked. I agree. Forza wins fucking sports game of the year, yes. uh, the game awards. It, Does, was even better. it doesn't even have the Nordschleife yet and it wins fucking game of the year. Fucking sports game, yeah. What a load of shit. Otherwise, yeah, if it was a, um, if it was a better game, it could have been a half decent alternative. To, uh, to Gran Turismo. Oh, dear. Fuck, my head's sick, cut out. I thought so. No, you're right. I was just saying, if Forza, All could, I had was... if, Forza, if Forza was a better game, it could have been a half decent alternative to Gran Turismo. Yeah. But well, like, every time I watch this guy I follow on YouTube play it, it, I really want to play it. And then I jump on and it's just like, yeah, no. Nah. No, nah, not, not happening, no. Like, I, I, have, I, I haven't even got into an actual race yet on it. The game probably works better on Xbox because, you know, it's a console. Compared to PC, yeah. but but I, even then, it's yeah. I know what you're saying. Like some PC and games then, are unoptimized anyway, so some of the problems you're talking about, they'll probably get fixed, but some of them might not. Like it just sounds like a shit game yeah, sometimes well, too, you know. I got into an actual online. I finally found out how to get into an online race, and I got into it, and then it fro like it got stuck on a black screen. No. Oh. And I I couldn't even close the um. My PC, like I couldn't do anything. <laughs> it shouldn't be doing that. That's pretty fucking crap. No, I had to turn it off by the wall. Really? Fuck. So the, yeah. the lobby bricks your fucking PC, like basically. Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't touched it since. Okay, that's just bizarre. Like, yeah. I literally wasted a hundred bucks. On a game I'm not, I'm not playing anymore. Fucking Forza. Yeah. Um, you know, Gran Turismo might have its flaws from me really making the most of it. When it works, it yeah. works. Because there's some good things right. about it, like the livery editor. The livery editor is great in this oh, game. 100%. And the graphics. Oh, yep. The graphics too are pretty fucking good. Yep. Uh, this is actually funny. I, read, I was reading comments that they're going on that Forza's got the best, better graphics than Gran Turismo. And I'm like, looking at the comparison, and Gran Turismo shits all over Forza Motorsport with the graphics. Yeah, I tend to agree with that. And that's pretty sad because Forza is um, exclusively a current-gen game. Gran Turismo isn't. Mm. That's also on PS4. Yeah. And it looks better still. Yeah. Yeah, way better. Wait. Right on the reviews or whatever in that awards finger one, it's saying it's got like the best graphics. Best now. graphics and shit. Yeah, nah. Some of the car models in Forza are still bad. Yeah. The only thing Gran Turismo lacking is the damage model. That's exactly right. If it had actual good looking damage, that would make the graphics look even better. Mm. Yep. Imagine that. You have like, you hit the wall and it leaves a bit of, you know, stuff on the wall and. That Andy sort of shit. bumpers hanging off. Yep, like actually hanging off and sort of flapping a bit, and then it comes off halfway yeah. through the lap. It's like, oh shit, you know, you got to avoid it. Like, but then it needs a safety just, car. Like, it's not much. Yeah, it just true. needs that. We like, got qualifying, so that's a step. Uh, yes, finally after six so months. Probably another ten years time in Gran Turismo. What seventeen? We'll probably have damage. Oh, oh, I hope so. Fucking hell. Yeah. Imagine that. They, yeah, I don't know. Gran Turismo 8 will definitely look phenomenal when it comes out, and it, I hope it has damage, but it probably won't. Mm. That might come yeah, out soon too, man. I reckon it will come out in 2025, I reckon. I don't know what's the deal, though, but there seems to be a lot of racing games coming out lately that aren't doing damage models. Well, like, uh, even Forza, I don't think has really any damage. <laughs> Forza has had damage in the past. I don't know what it's like these yeah. days, though. In the videos I've seen of the crashes, there's no, like, bumpers hanging off, actual prob- smashed up bonnets. They probably just have a little bit of, like, dinting, but no actual, like, deformation, yeah? Yeah. 
Meanwhile, Grand Rose is my just scratches. Yeah, I know, it's just fucking scratches. Meanwhile, 20 years ago almost, Grace Drover and Grid had fucking awesome damage. Yes, absolutely. I still remember, right? Um, right uh, their supercars won, or Race, race no, Drover right, won. Bumper, yeah, where the front splitter fucking falls off the car. Yeah, I think doors could off. come off too. Off yeah, yeah, they can. Fuck. And then yeah. Race Driver Grid, bloody same damage model. Yep, that was better. Yeah. Like the crumbling and stuff, it just looked, yeah, good. Fuck, that's still my favourite game, Race Driver Grid. Yeah, that's the, Raven West. That was a good game, that one. The creator team career thing was really good. Yes. Oh, that's I right. That you're using your livery off of it, basically. Yep. Well, I was. Yeah, and now it's morphed into what it is now. Yeah. Which is good. The livery should always improve as each season goes by, because I'm doing the same with my liveries. Like, they, they are getting better every season. Yeah. Like, I want to see if I can get Race Driver Grid on PC. I doubt I can, though. You can't legitimately, unfortunately. Oh. The only way to do it is to find a used copy of the PC disc or download yeah. it, like off Pirate Bay or something. Uh, um, and then you're probably going to have... Remake. Yeah, you might have to wait for a remaster or a remake or something. Um, it otherwise, won't be as good. It, well, it won't be if they have to cut content. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is, too, sometimes it takes a while to get older games working on the like on the PC. Like, you, know, you might need to get patches or just shit and just little things like that. Yeah. But, like, overall, I've, I think I've got Grid on Steam. Oh, lucky. Because I played it back in the day, but I have to double check. I played it with an Xbox 360 controller, mind you. Oh, yeah. On PC, yeah. Still, I reckon to me that's my all-time favorite game, Race Driver Grid. Yeah, I. Uh, Ranking out to be in the best team on the grid. I didn't like that game compared to Race Driver on PS2, but it's still a good game. No, I'll I give did. it that. On PS3, it was fucking awesome. Like, create your own team, bloody hire any driver, fucking yep. race against real life drivers. The better graphics were nicer. Drivers. Yeah, the damage model was absolutely sick. I think, the, I think the only thing that uh, I think what made it not as good was just it lacked the some of the official race series that Race Driver had. Yeah, but, so it didn't have proper race series, but it, yeah, nah. it had real drivers and all that. Yeah, real cars still. Yeah, real drivers, real tracks. Like it was still a good game. Like I like the concept mm. of it definitely. That's why I like Grid Autosport. You know, it was very similar. Yeah, well, it was Grid Autosport is exactly the same. All it. The only thing different with it was like new content, like a new car. Yeah. Because the Toyota. New cars car and new um new tracks. And Bathurst. Yeah, yeah. They yep. added Bathurst to it. Fuck so, yeah. I remember I bought that one too. I bought that game. And they were literally the only differences was the, I think it was the Toyota touring car or something. And Bathurst. And a couple other cars. They were the only thing that was different. Yeah, just the, the game itself was also more just yeah motorsport focused but so was the first grid yeah. like it was kind of you know yeah, yeah it was a good game I remember my sport. brother got me into grid because he he had it on as a demo because he did the drifting oh and yes the first, drifting mode yeah at first I, I, I wasn't a fan of it and then I bought it on my PS3 and the fucking was obsessed with that game <laughs> yes, I uh, I had it on PC because it was in that stupid period where it, the PS4 was out for a year, but it didn't come out PS4. Yeah. I was like, fuck. But I wish it came out PS4. It's we'd probably be good playing it like at some here and there, like you know, just for fun. Because I think it's better than the new grids. The new grids don't seem to be that good. Absolutely, it's still the best grid game out there for sure. Mm, None of them even come close to it. Nah. I, I, I wanted to oh, make a new one, but they just got to be better. Fuck. Yeah. Well, they ne what I reckon they should do is make a new one of the Race Driver Grid. Yeah, or just... Grid Autosport. Honestly, just no, use, yeah, th one of those games as a template and just make it again. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, um, Grid Reloaded was the one with the Bathurst and um oh Toyota, yeah Toyota. yeah yeah Grid that's Reloaded. What, that was the one i had that's the one you're thinking of after. yeah yeah 
That did add value. Race driver grid, but just yeah. With with the extra content, content. yeah. Yes, race uh, grid autosport was the next one. That it wasn't as good. It was grid. It was basically grid three. Yeah. Because you had grid two and then grid autosport, and and yeah, it was more just just minor racing focus. Endurance racing. Race driver. Yeah, race driver grid was the um one with the. I think Viper, the Raven Rest Viper on the front cover. Ah, uh, yes, that's correct. Parked on the side with another car. Can't picture the other car, but yes, the reloaded yeah, the car. reloaded cover is different. <laughs> yeah, it was different. It had um, I think more cars, cars on it. I yeah, think, I think the, it was free cars. maybe the new cars that were added they were on the cover. Yeah, because I remember it had the Bathurst little add-on on the front cover too yes it did and i'm kind of i'm kind of ashamed i never bought that game but yeah like i've got it on pc so actually so, no, yeah. i have yeah actually i do have grid on ps3 but not that version i've got the original version yes yeah, so a grid reloaded had the um aston martin db9 raven west car then the um oh fucking i can't think of that bloody le mans car Old school Mazda seven oh, seven eight seven B. Yeah, something oh. like that, and then have the Sylvia drift car behind it. Ah uh, yes, that's and a good. Race, race driver grid just had the Viper, kind of on an angle in the front cover. Yes, it did. That's right. My two favorite games. Fuck, I miss those games. <sighs> it was just so good for its time. Yeah, the, that's how the supercar should have been with the story mode, with the, all the cars and that. <laughs> or even every racing game. Well, that's that, how it should be. I've actually never played the story mode from the V8 supercars games properly. I have to go actually go do that. It was good. Because I didn't have the cutscenes of my copy. Fuck, what? Because, because I had a burnt copy and it was on CD. Oh, and CDs are smaller Jesus. than DVDs. So they had to cut like stuff to make the game fit on a disc. So they cut the cutscenes out of a lot of games that I bought. But I was still able to play them. That's cause... fucked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's fucked. But I still had all the... Um... Oh, what's fucked too is I had to play the game longer to unlock the V8 Supercar content because it wasn't unlocked at the start because I didn't have the V8 Supercar version of the game. I had the Toka Racing Driving version. So the British, the British Touring Cars were unlocked at the start. But I had to play the game to play the supercars. Jesus. But you would have had the supercars unlocked at the start. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, I used to, I used to have the car list and the track list. I had it printed out from the website, like the Codemasters website, and just put it on a pin board, like excited for the game to come out. Like, oh, it's got these Fords, it's got oh, yeah. these Holdens, it's got these tracks, yeah. it's got these liveries. Like, it's just, it's going to be cool, you know. Mm. Yeah, when I think of it, I don't know how, like, so you got VS Supercars 1's damage model, literally the best of its time. Yeah. And then you go through VS Supercars 2, 3, and many more racing games without yep. that type of damage model. Like, I know, it gets how, worse over time in a way. Like, gets, Yeah. And then, like, you look at Gran Turismo now, where, like, with what they've got, they should have, like... You look at their Supercars 1's damage model, and then you look at, like, Gran Turismo now, like, today's day and age, where you freaking, you see things, like, they're building shit where it's, like, you can see a person while you're talking to them through a little screen, <laughs> fucking, on a table, and they can't even fucking make a fucking video game with a proper damage model. Yeah. Now, like, they could back in the day. I agree. Like, they, they can do it, they just don't. <laughs> I mean, like, if they can make movies where uh, they, you know, like, say Star Wars, you know, when the Almost talking to Papadine, that little little disc thing, and his clone comes up talking? Yes, yes. Uh, like, that shit. If they can do that in a fucking movie, then they can fucking do a damage model on a video game, surely. Like, <laughs> honestly. No, I agree. I don't know why Gran Turismo hasn't got it. I, I, I know why. It's because of the style of game it's trying to be, but I don't think it 
too arcade. It's too arcade. What, I agree. Yeah, I agree. They want to get into the simulation fit ways, um, name, but it, it won't be if they don't do a damage. I agree, hundred percent. Do you know with Race Driver back in the day, that was really giving Gran Turismo a run for its money because Race Driver Three oh, had like right. big grids and big grids in Gran Turismo. It had sixteen cars on the track compared to six, and damage yeah. and fuel. Mm-hmm. And tires and all this stuff. It was actual simulator, like racing simulator. Gran Turismo just had the car list and um, the graphics and a few yeah. other things. And Gran Turismo 5 comes about on PS3 and it's like, oh, is there going to be damage? And no, there's no damage. No. Gran like Turismo no 6, same shit. And now we're on Gran Turismo 7, nine years later. No, nah, no damage. <laughs> You'd think they would have damage by now. I know. By oh, now, sorry. I would have thought PS4 era, PS5 era, yes, but no. Nah. Not yet. And especially when they like want to focus on more racing, they should yeah. be damage. Like actually racing, yeah, like yeah. It's, like we've already got damage in terms of the car. Like if you get hit you get damage. Just give us the the, the visual the visualization yeah. of it, you know? Like I don't care if bumpers don't fall off or whatever, just make them crumble and look damaged, like fuck. Or hang off. Yeah, yeah. like oh, I don't know. You can still make it so, it's like, in the pits, game. you can um, repair it quickly. Like, you can have that as an option. Mm. But just make it look more realistic. Like, yeah. Now that I think about that, yeah, you're right. Like, all the photos we take of the of the races, for example, like, yeah, all the cars are just perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, after all the carnage, like, tonight, you'd think... Oh, body panel uh, should be hanging off. Like, yeah, my my rear should be dented. Your like, yeah, your your side of the car cold. should be yeah, like there should be damage on the cars. Yeah, mm-hmm. mm. this is stupid. But so this is this is why I think like oh you know maybe we should play a different game instead of GT. But then that comes with other problems like yeah. Oh, it's just can't and that's Another thing I hate about the racing games is. I swear every year they get less and less grid numbers, like grid slots. Like in VS Supercars, they never the full grid. It was always like sixteen or VS Three was twenty one cars you could have. I think you're grid. right. Yeah. I know. How come we don't have forty cars on the grid? Yeah. Yeah, like at least give it twenty to fucking. Like, why do we get 16? Like, why not 20? Like, yeah. Long? Or 25? I think... Yeah, I'm not sure why that's the case. 16. Yeah, for Gran Turismo. It's kind of shit. Because you can do 20 in-game. Yeah, because yeah. in animation you got the spectator. Yeah. Yeah, and that's true. In in career mode, it's 20. But in... Well, why is it in re- online? It's 15. 15, 16. 16. I don't it's know. so dumb. I will say yeah, to... This, I think um, yeah, Assetto no. Corsa has a big grid. Assetto Corsa Competizione. Yes. Yeah. But then that's just GT3 cards and GT4 cards. Like, yeah. It's that's just that. Like, if they had other ones, like a few other categories, it would be better. Add their supercars, you know? Like, mm. like, well, like, don't these game creators understand that people want big grids? Big grids, and lots, lots of cars. Uh, and their yeah. supercars, I know. Ah, oh, that's the thing. Forza's got the V8s, don't they? But the game shit, huh? Yeah, it's the um old. Y- yeah, that's the. Thing. I think it's the sh- just the Shell V racing V8 supercar, and then the. I don't know which Commodore it is. Oh, so just one of each now, huh? Yeah. So well, that's I... literally. Yeah, that. Ah, oh, that's kind of shit. They used to have a lot more liveries per car in that game. Mhm. I don't mind watch just... the Vs Supercar race on it. Everyone was in the Shell V racing car, and then the Commodore. Ah, uh, okay. I don't mind if they only give us one or no liveries. You can just make your own, but it'd be nice to have still. So. Yeah, fuck off. But yeah. then they'll be. But the way this game does liveries sometimes is a bit weird. It's each separate car's its own livery, or each car, each livery's yeah. own car, which is a bit weird. Give us, yeah, I know, I know. Just give us one VS. Give us what we want. Just, yeah. just, just one. I just, just want one. If we have two, that's great. Just, mm. just give me one. Make it the Ford. Don't make it the Commodore. 
<laughs> yeah, like they've had a Ford Falcon in the Gran Turismo once before. Why not just yes. add it? Yes, and and that was a kind of iconic car. Like fuck, yeah, it's a Gran Turismo. Mm. Yeah, I know. Doesn't have to be a current one too. Give us any sort of air supercar. I don't mind. Yeah, preferably in the two thousand and five era. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be sick. Be a Falcon, fuck yeah. But I mean, we've had the AE Falcon. Yeah. So why can't we have any other the other? So Falcons? bring the yeah exactly. Um. Hmm. I haven't thought about a V8 Supercar League in a while, like a proper one. Anyway, just, it, it, really it, it. It's too much of a headache because you've got to jump to PC and then you've got to do mods and then, ah, uh, whatever. Like yeah. it's, it's you know, it's not it's not like a console game where you just bring it up and it works. Yeah, and then you've got to sort your wheel out to make it work properly on, on the yep, PC. Yep, on PC, can... it, it, that's a lot harder to do, yeah. Yeah, which I find, like, I, I remember it used to be just plug in and play, if you will, and now, like, the last two racing games I've tried on PC, yeah. I've had to tr like, even Mark was going on about it, like, having to, like, fully set up your wheel just to make it work properly. Like, for a set of Corsa. That was a mission to get my wheel to fucking work properly on that. Hmm. Yeah, they should... The developers should do more to make it easier, I, I reckon, mm. instead of harder. Because I hate sitting there with all the settings, yeah? Yeah. Um, do you remember Project Cars and those settings yes. in that game? Man, what a nightmare that was. Like, you could that change everything. That was a lot. Yeah, I think I did go through it once and then just left it. <laughs> Yeah, how that game crumbled though, fuck. Nah, it's quite unfortunate because that game is a series could have actually been all right. Like if it kept, like yeah. so Project Cars One came out, you know, it took years to develop and stuff, but it was pretty good in terms of like had it a good, good track list, good car list, daytime good weather. Cars. Yeah, like it it did a lot of good. So Project Cars Two sort of tried to refine it. Yeah, it's all good. And then Project Cars Three was kind of shit, and now there's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing. It just fell by the wayside. If, I wish they did four, and like, they were going to do four and go back to like the simulator sort of game, and yeah. And they had the VS supercar in that, the it, Falcon. Yes, they did, the and we and we did use that sometimes for ET. Yeah, I, do. I ET. remember the Nurburgring where we blocked the um the chicane, <laughs> and um I think it was Matt ended up on his roof. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't get flipped over. That's right. He just comes out of nowhere and, just, poof, and I'm laughing my ass off. Yeah, I was trying to find that video to show Mark and Jeremy because I, I just randomly thought of, <laughs> thought of it that day and I told them about it. Um, and they wanted to see it. I I'll, couldn't find the video. I'll, I'll find it. I'll get it for you. Yeah, I was looking through the channel and I couldn't find it. Oh, you couldn't find and it, then huh? I looked for our chat. Yeah, I couldn't find it anymore. Um, mm, no, I'm gonna, I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Where is it? Mm. I'll just I'll send it to you. How are the good days? <laughs> oh dear! He just fully sh cut the scad, hits you, yeah, ends up on his roof. I kind oh, of forgot fuck. with that series. There it is. Just found it. Um. Ooh, season four of E. T Jesus, wow! F one A W C season four Japanese Grand Prix overtaking Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So I just uploaded a photo of me just overtaking Dylan. That's great. Oh, wow. You've done well. That was eight That's years ago. That's a big achievement. Yeah, fuck. I'm going to watch it, actually. Let's see if it's a good overtake. Season four. So he's in the Mercedes. Yep, I'm in the Williams. I remember that. Where it's Spa. It's raining at Spa, yeah, is it? Oh, it's in Japan. It's Japanese. Japanese. Season four, that was when I quit. <laughs> oh, I didn't... No, no, I didn't quit. I, I barely showed up. Yeah, I've got him on the inside at 130R. Oh, yeah. Um, here you go. I forgot that season we did um different cars, too. Like, every race was a different car. Kind of. Every two races. Mm. It was six years ago, this one. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. Almost, almost seven, yeah. Oh, yeah, we did block the chicane. And, oh, Jesus, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, that's right. We're all there. So, yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, he's on the. And someone else comes flying. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is back when Hayden Burton raced with us. Yes, he was racing in that um those championships. Yep, yep. I think he won the second one or the first one. He won one of them. Yeah. Mm. Because I think this was the era when we had to do the photo for F1 setups as well. It was actually during that time. Yeah. Yeah. Because looking and at the dates, the it lines league. up. Yes, the rally league was I think the year before. But yes. Yeah. That rally league was really good because we get to do it whenever. Yeah, that was um that was really well set up. Mm. I really enjoyed that one. Oh Jesus Christ. Um I, I want to <laughs> look into it again when I when I get the new game. See if it's yeah. worth or able to do it again and then I'll just like Yeah. <laughs> but that crash yeah. fuck me, man. That was... Yeah. <laughs> I just, I remember, I just randomly thought of it the other day and I was telling Mike and Jeremy about it. It, it just cracks me up every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, um, fuck, that was good. It was a good game, that one, Project Hub. Yeah, it was. I remember I, um, I, I stole my copy from Big W, that game. Oh, fucking what? Yeah, I, per- I permanently borrowed it, basically. <laughs> oh, jeez. But you know what, shit, yeah. I, I left the case there. Right, I left the case oh, at Big no. W, so it was on the shelf. Right, I kind of did it purposely. You took the disc. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was as easy to take the disc and I just put it in my pocket. Because I need, I used wow. it for um F I N O W C when we did the endurance championship there, at first. Because I was like, I'm not paying wow. for this game for this race. I'll just fucking get it from fucking Big W, and I never took it back. Yeah. And then what happened That's was right. one day someone wanted to buy the game, and they're like, oh, we don't have the disc. Sorry. <laughs> no. I, I, I can't. I kind of felt bad because it was a mum with the kid. I'm just like, oh, you know. Oh no. But it's all right. Like I Meanwhile, still got they it. They looked everywhere for the disc. <laughs> yeah, I think they did. Yeah, like the people, and I was just standing around going, oh, it's got to be there somewhere, guys. <laughs> Where's that disc going, guys? <laughs> I'll tell you exactly where it is. It's inside my steel case for F1 2015. <laughs> oh wow. That's where it is. Oh, so yeah, yeah. that. Uh, I should probably get a case for that game though. That was pretty funny. Mm. Well, even this Project Cars game had really good damage model. Yes, it like did actually. It up, oh, yes, yeah. Project Cars has the sort of damage we're talking about because they tried to go for the simulator yeah. aspect of it, and they had a lot of information yeah. like during the race of the cars too, like the water temperature and all the temperature and all that sort of shit. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I want a Project man, Cars. It, it, Fuck. And it just fell by the wayside, that game. It that did. Series. Like, it has. Wow. And there's no other series to sort of replace it yet, Back either. It up. No, yeah. nothing. Like, Assetto Corsa's only got competition, which kind of isn't enough. And then Gran Turismo's not enough. Like, Gran Turismo has It's problems. too arcadey. Yeah, it, it's missing a lot of the stuff we're talking about, like actual racing shit. Hmm. Like it's got other stuff going for it, and it, like you, the you, can, you can do some. You can do some style of racing in Gran Turismo while like sprint races, like shorter races. Yeah. But longer races, like anything over an hour in Gran Turismo, for me is just kind of pointless because there's no safety car and stuff. Yeah. So it's just like yeah, well, exactly. It's like yeah, it, it. I don't know. I think what we're doing now, about a half hour, is pretty good. It gives you yeah. a chance. It gives you a chance to like actually have a race. If we had a longer race, I'd want stuff to actually happen, like, you know, red flags or safety cars and, yeah. Mm. Like, honestly, they should make a racing game with all that st- all those features in it. Like, why can't they do it? Like, fuck. They should. I agree. Like, Project Cars if, 4 would have been that. Mm. So, like, Gran Turismo, if they had the safety car, they had damage, yep. then it, it would probably be the best racing game out there. I know. Oh, and they also had Australian <laughs> tracks. Okay. Yeah, that's the other thing. Need at least a couple or more Australian tracks. Like, give us, yeah. um, I don't care what, man. Yeah, honestly, anything. We've already got I'll the just one. I'd be happy with proper damage. Give us Adelaide and Surf Paradise. No, I want Phillip Island or Simmons Plains. Ooh, yeah, Simmons Plains would be a good addition. Fuck yeah, the paper clip. <laughs> or like Queensland Raceway. Yeah, put Queensland Raceway in the game too, fuck. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, but, but honestly, like, that's they what they need. They do, but I don't think they'll do it. 
Nah. Oh, it's a bit shit. However, they definitely need to do the damage. Hundred percent need the damage. They need. They proper. need to. Yeah. Like they've got other stuff in the game that's kind of realistic, like the, like, uh, it, that's what kind of shits me. Like the tires, for example, they do have a warm up period, but you don't see anything on the graph to tell you that. No. Yeah. But Project Cars does. It tells you the temp. Even Formula One does. Formula One's got more simulation stuff than Gran Turismo as well. So. It, yeah. You 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 need like stuff from all the games and just to make one game. Yeah. You know? Like the perfect yeah, game. Yeah, pretty much. And like, then the game's too big. You'll be like the new Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll take ten years to get made, and you know, like, Fuck. and it take two years to come out after you've announced it. And... It's just crazy, though. You look at the old racing games, how good they were when, like, what they made them with what they had back in yep. those days, and then yeah, you've got now so advanced, and this is what we get, like, yep. a game with no damage model. What you're talking safety cars. <laughs> What you're talking about is hard to explain, but like we're on the yeah. same wavelength. Basically, what you're like, what you've, what you have noticed throughout your life is that oh, racing games used to be a certain way. Now that we've got more computing power, surely they can be like this instead. You know, like yeah, have more of this or worse. more of that. Yeah, it's like worse in some areas. It's weird, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like fucking like you use yeah, Supercars One for example, like probably the best damage model mm. for its time. Yeah, hundred percent. Even now, even and then, now, yeah, and then you get this game with no, no with damage. no damage. Yeah, that V8 yeah, Supercars like game is basically twenty years old, dude. Yeah. And you can roll the cars and lose your wings and your doors and you get yeah. crumpled, damage and your lights and break and like all this stuff, bro. I still remember being so excited when my front bumper was dragging off my car. Oh, my front's did it? Yeah, that. That's reminding me now of um, yeah. Toka Race Driver on... No, sorry, Toka World Touring Cars on PS1. When the front bumper got detached on one side, it would actually spark on the road. Yeah. Like, yeah. you don't even get that in games, like in Gran Turismo. Like, no. holy shit. That's just crazy. And even in Gran Turismo yeah. too, like the... um, If you've noticed, like... ah, oh, There's this stupid thing that happens where the pits... Are separate from the track, so when you're going past the pits, you can't see anyone working on the cars. Yeah, and yep. the, uh, and it's the other way they around just too. Sit there. Yeah, they do. They just sit there, and the people that pit they disappear. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I think Formula One they I actually do. do show the grids. But yeah, like the, what the fuck, Grand Turismo? Like, yeah, what bullshit? Yeah, you know? it's lacking in a lot of ways. It is when you dive, dive deep into these sort of games. They lack a lot of things. The other thing too, like what we're talking about is why hasn't this game got this feature? Why don't all the tracks have time of day and fucking weather? Yeah. Like every track should. Project Cars was like that. Every single track had fucking mm-hmm. weather and time of day. And that was a PS4 game. You know? like three, yeah. Like, like why is it only select a few tracks? Like every track will, it, will have rain in real life. So it should be just a known feature to have every yeah. track with rain. What I don't understand is that how they've made the game, like, they haven't made the game with separate parts. It's like they build each mm. track as its own thing and have to add features to each track. Because the game's got rain, for example. In, it's got rain in it. So you should just be able to yeah. put it in all the tracks, right? You'd think so. You'd fucking think so. Um, time like, of day as well. Fucking... Like. What? Bathurst for one, it always rains at Bathurst when it comes to be at Supercar, so why hasn't Bathurst got rain? Right. I know. Bathurst has got the midnight time of day in this, which is good, but it doesn't have rain. Mm. So you can yeah. simulate a 24 hour race, but no weather. Like, come no on. No weather. That's just. Yeah, that's. But so some of the stupid. other tracks you do, like Le Mans, it's got weather and time of day. Okay, that's good. But Nurburgring, some of the configurations don't have certain times of day. So it's like, what the fuck? Yeah? Yeah. You're, at, you're at the same track, like you're at the same venue. Spa is the same. Spa is exactly the same. The 24-hour layout's mm. got the midnight conditions, but not the fucking, not the normal track. But it's the same track. Wow. And last night, when Blake and I did some practice, we put in heavy rain, or oh, was it? Um, oh, yeah? Yeah, the, the heaviest rain, and and then I think the other setting. And literally, it didn't rain. The track just looked damp. <laughs> it did not rain. That's a bit weird. At all. 
Yeah. So I don't know if it's broken. But we checked the setting, and the setting was set on heavy, heavy rain and heavy fog. Yeah, because you 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 chose the um weather, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We put it in. Yeah. Right. Right. But the track was just damp. It didn't. It looked literally looked like the track was an ice ring. Like it was so shiny. So, and it didn't rain. Hmm. And then, like you know, on that the the weather bar, like the little where it's like. All the way up to the top, it means full wet, and then middles, inters, and then below the line is dries. Yes, yes. So it, it was showing that, like, all the way, almost to the top, the first bar, but it wasn't even raining. Uh, okay. Must just be... Yeah, I know what you're saying, actually. The rain... The, this game doesn't actually have, like, raindrops. No. Like, when you're outside the... When you're in the car in the cockpit mode, there's raindrops. Yeah, you can see it on the windscreen. Yeah. yeah. But when you're outside, you can't actually... Yeah, I think you're right. I think you can't actually see much rain. And, like, there was spray. Like, you can see the spray. Yeah. Like, a lot of spray from the car in front. But I was like, well, where's the rain, though? I'm not seeing any rain. No, that's a good point. Like, the... Yeah, the spray happens. I think there's more spray than actual, like, raindrops. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck? That's kind of weird, actually, now that you mention that. Because mm-hmm. what's weird is the um, the graphics in the rain look phenomenal, like the track and stuff. But, yeah. But um, but that's but, it's, but it looks like it's after it's finished raining, not during, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's just odd. Hmm. Well, the Gran Turismo lacking. I'm, so, I'm, I'm actually disappointed it didn't rain this race. It would have fucking spiced it up a bit. Yeah, it would have made it fun, but also stressful because it would be another championship down the wayside. Well, Not that I'm in this championship. Oh, you, you still are, technically. Hey, yeah, something, could, something could happen to Faf in the first turn in the next race. You never know. I, I'm not even thinking of trying to beat Faf. My focus is on beating PC racing. <laughs> I can understand that. You were sort of never in contention, but you kind of are. It's kind of weird how that works. Yeah, I don't understand how I've got up to second. I don't understand how you've managed to keep the points gap what it is. Oh, actually, you know why? It's because you stayed consistent for a lot of the season, and Faf, I think at one, I think Faf was behind you at one point. Yeah. So he's just made it little bit by little bit every race, like the gap. But it's still, it's not that big, because. First and second, seven points, like the gap, you know, when you get points in a race. But he's only 16 points ahead of you. Yeah, I, I don't know how. I'm not sure. Yeah, it should be a bigger gap. It feels like it should, it should be, but no. Because I'm pretty sure I was fifth or sixth at the start of the season. Mm, probably were. I'm going to have a look at the points. I'll have a quick look and see where you might have been at the start. 15. No, you have your decent points haul. 15, 18, 18 in the first three rounds. Nick yeah, Faf. So I would have been third or fourth. You would have been about third because Jeremy Crow and Nick Faf have a good results, and and you would have been just ahead of me. So you would have been third. I would have been fourth. Early on. So I've pretty much only been off the podium once. Mm, once. Holy shit! Actually, yeah, you've only missed out on Australia. one. Australia. What the fuck? Fucking Bathurst. Bathurst, the only podium you don't have. Where? Oh, Mark Pacheco got it. Ah, PC Racing got it that time. That's what it was. Yeah. Where's Blake Williamson for that race? Eight points. I I put Blake in the barrier. That's right at Bathurst. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) Some inter-team, you know. Because I was chasing after you and Mark. Yeah. And I caught up to you on the last on the last lap. I got right behind you. I got stuck behind Blake. So I made a desperate move up on the top of the mountain, which put him offline and sent him into the wall. That's yeah. right. I remember that now. Yes, I remember this now. Nice. Big, I was on the faster tyre and I was stuck behind Blake because he was quick. But, yeah. oh, the t- no, oh, that's right. You were talking about team orders during the race. <laughs> mm, yeah. But I didn't realise that that ruined my, my podium streak. Fucking hell. Yeah, Blake ruined your fucking podium streak. 
Bloody hell. Right, so overall, you're actually doing really well in these cars, like Group 2. Yeah, but it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Like, last season, I knew I was doing well because I got second, 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 and then a couple of other shit races. But your season's a bit up and down, but you still got second, you know, in the championship. Yeah, it's weird. It's like up and down, but I'm consistently on the podium. Yes. But, like, I feel like it's a bad season because I'm not winning as much. That's, yeah, I think that's what's missing it's just the victories you got one win yeah surprising kind of out of nowhere too but in a way like Faf I think something happened to him that race too he got pushed down a seventh he <laughs> just went backwards that's right but that's part of the that's part of it though like you got into turn one in the better position and you avoided what happened mm. so yeah yeah it's good yeah let's have a look here so did you see the fact holy shit yeah you saw my ETGT League post, how one of the videos got exploded in views overnight. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what's happened. It's got 271 views, but it's got 62 likes. Who's liked this fucking video? Fuck. I don't get it. I don't pay for likes or nothing. Like, there's none of that shit going on. But this one race, I don't know, it's got 62 likes, man. It's just weird. Every other race is, you know, Six, a handful. Actual likes, 62 actual likes. Yeah, if you look at the photo in the group, in ETGT, it's got 62 likes. I don't understand. I, I reckon some bots got a hold of the video or something. Like, yeah. Where are all the comments at, then? That's what I'm saying, too. That's true. There's no comments on the video. There's only two comments, and they were from ages ago. Like, no one's actually commented on it. And all the other races... Does one have... Eight, what's the 80 and 31, 26? Are they the likes, or...? So... No. On the thing... It's 60 views. Yeah, it's got 271 views, 62 likes, and oh, two round, comments. Round one had 62 likes. That's the comments. one. Yeah. Yep, that's the one. What the hell? I'm not sure. Yeah. Hey, but two of my recent videos are doing really well. Interlagos is 170 views. But yeah, but why? Like, what's why is that one's got 269 views with 62 likes? Like, why? That like, one overnight at 1 a.m. it got all the views. I'm not sure what happened. Like, I was in bed, you know. Like, fuck. Of course, Colin Racing wasn't there for this. God damn. No. Th- that's unfortunate. So, like, they're watching all these videos of only six people on the track. <laughs> yeah, that sounds surprised they got that many likes. Me too. Although, to be fair, I was kind of not worried, but I was concerned getting into the season, like, oh, are these races going to turn out all right commentary-wise? But they do. The longer race format's actually kind of better because it allows me to just pace myself a bit. When the race is 10 minutes, it's so hectic. Mm-hmm. But there's less this people, you know? Did they see the only six race, races, so they barely even watched the second round? Like, I'm that? not sure. The only thing I can think of is, because it's in a playlist, maybe they watched the first one first out of a playlist, but, yeah, I, I don't know, like... You think they would have made more comments? That's what, that's what makes me think they were bots. Because yeah. if they were actual genuine views, I would have expected. Yeah, I was just surprised that I had a random person comment on my video. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I mean, I've had that a few times too on my streams where just a random guy comments, but you got it on your fucking like second or third ETGT stream. It's good. Yeah. And then he he he, st- he stayed for the whole stream. Oh. That's but good. he didn't really talk for a, He just said, what he, I think he said, hi, mate. At the start of something, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And he would have probably been able to hear the chat too, my which video's is good. Got, yeah, my video's got three likes on it. Oh, really? Already, yeah. <laughs> One of them probably would have been Mark Pacheco. Yeah, he, Mark also commented on it. Congrats, yes. Mate. Nice. What a lad. I think he had he had one of us on during the race, and it was me or you. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was yours. <laughs> Chose me. Yeah. Because 
Because on mine, I have one viewer, which was old mate that commented on my video at the time. Uh, yeah, I had a few more views, so one of them was probably him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, that was, yeah. Well, I don't know why I still got a break in, like, a marker on. With the red lines. I need to turn that shit off. Um, I think you should, mate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I even got it on. I had it on for a round for Supercar, so a track I didn't know, and I just keep forgetting to turn it off. Gotta get too used to it, mate. I think I already am too used to it. <laughs> Not good. Ooh, dear. I suppose. Look, it's nearly 12 o'clock. Nearly? It fucking is for me. <laughs> fucking hell. It's 20 past and I've got to have a shower. Yeah. That's uh, all right. I've got to go to bed for work. So. Oh, yeah. That's, that's nice. This is our yeah. longest podcast yet. This is over two hours now. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we actually talked about stuff like <laughs> games. And... I know. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah, good. Changed shit up and it was all right. Yeah. Had, um, yeah, people talking in the first half, as you do, like, texting in and calling in. Yeah. Oh, uh, well. But, all right, we'll, uh, we'll finish up here. Sounds good, man. Sick. I'll go have a shower. Cheers for the good racing. Yeah, that was a good race. Yeah. Good battling. As, you know, it's always fun when there's, you know, two or three, four people sort of close on the track. and Yeah, yeah that was epic. <laughs> Sad about the contact. Ah, oh, that's nah, right. Shit happens. Fucking. Yeah. I mean, it was half my fault too because I didn't check where you were. I'm just like, I'm just going for it. I don't care. Like, whatever. yeah, but you're the car in front, so it's up to the car behind to make it clean. <laughs> yeah, um, it could be one of those things where the different replays might show different shit too. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But it's, it's whatever. I would have. We'll just blame like, Mark. I, <laughs> yeah, we'll just yeah. It's his fault for being too fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why you got him back. Yeah, luckily. Now, if it was the last lap, I probably would have been a bit more shitty, but it wasn't the last lap. And I was going to die off anyway with my tyres, so it was all good. Yeah, I didn't realise your tyres were that bad. I didn't realise either, bro. That stint, though, was a lot worse for me for some reason. Um, I was, like, thinking that your tyres... Like, I knew about your tyre life being shit, so I was expecting you to drop off a lot sooner than you did. Same here, actually. Um, they lasted pretty much as long as I thought they were going to, which was weird. Yeah, but they should have me. lasted a lot longer. <laughs> yeah, well, it annoyed me. I was thinking you I was hoping you were going to drop off four laps from the end. Oh no, it's two laps instead, yeah. and they're big laps too. Like it's like three laps at a normal track. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> it would have been a lot worse for you this round. No, there were some things this round that like give me a bit of hope. It's, just yeah the tires somehow i don't know i don't yeah. know nice but next but next season i'll i think the tire is going to come down a bit anyway yeah. it depends i'm not sure i'm not sure what sort of race length we're doing either like it, i'll see it might not be it's probably not going to be that different to what we're doing now though yeah it's gonna be interesting i can't wait me either it's going to come very quickly dude it's like we're going to find out next week what we're doing and then in yeah. five weeks we're going to be racing it'll be yeah literally in two weeks we'll be racing because soon it'll be five weeks second week goes <laughs> quick well after new years and stuff it'll basically be like oh okay boys we're two three weeks away it's like oh shit and it's crazy when I think about it. This would be the only league I'll be in because no motivation. No, no motivation, no nothing else. It's um, yeah, it's just it's just eating. Just eating. Well, it's, yeah, hey, you might actually fucking win a season. Yeah. No, I doubt it. They keep hiring <laughs> fast guys. Yeah, they keep fucking coming in at the fucking wrong time. Yeah. Like faff will leave, and then fucking someone else comes in. It's like oh fuck. Mark's mate will probably be super fast. Yeah, Mark's probably just, you know, talking him down, and then this guy comes and he's fucking like S class, and yeah. Yeah, even Fez's mate. Yeah, exactly. Sounds... Maybe he could be fucking quick too. Like, you never know. Fuck, we need slower guys. <laughs> I know we need um, people like Christian Vargas and Trent Four, <laughs> or even Blake's pace. Just slightly behind us. 
Yeah, so like sometimes some races is pretty good, then some races a little well, bit behind. Actually, yeah, he was Blake qualified less than a tenth off me. Yeah, he so. was. He was. He would have been all right this race if he stayed out of trouble, which wasn't yeah, exactly was his fault. If, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's just it is what it is. Fuck. Like at the start, I think he was the one that got pushed really wide. Or was that you? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. He got so, sent. See, that could have been either of us. Like instead. Yeah, I'm, I don't understand how I didn't get sent because I got hit. Yeah, I got hit as well. So, yeah, we got lucky there. And poor old Blake gets hit and gets sent to the next round. Yeah, he's the one that he's fucking did yeah, total to, you know? Yeah. yeah. Now nah, next round he, he he can he can make up for it some and hopefully yeah, get on the podium. Yeah, he'll back. Well, yeah. it's going to be a high risk because of that turn one. <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> No, I'm not. Uh, it could go either way, yeah. Like, you could benefit from it, or it could just be a traffic jam, like three three cars wide, you know? Like, okay. Here I was worried about Trent being the one to smash into us at turn one here, but it was Fez. Nah, but yeah, yeah Fez, Fez somehow he fucking got too excited and did a fucking... It's happened at, um, a few times in F1, like in real life, at, at that corner where people get too excited and they just go into the turn too quick. yeah. So next round, I'm going to be thinking it might be Fez to watch out for. Hmm. Yeah. And then you hit the grass and it's like, oh, you know. Whoop. Yeah, rip. Do a HRT at turn one. It's What's fine. fucked about that too is at the start on the grid, the track's pretty wide and then it narrows. Yeah, it does too. So I'm going to be full guns blazing at the start. I'm going to overtake on the fucking, off the, not off the track, but like near the pits and then bring myself back up to the fucking track, you know. Mm. Here's something for you. So oh, yeah? I'm on YouTube on my PlayStation. Yeah. In in my recommended, the first video is ETF1 League Season Six oh. Round One Bahrain. Fuck yeah! Wait. Yeah. Season Six Round One Bahrain. That's interesting. Yeah. That's the start of the playlist too, I guess. But mm. that's weird. Yeah. That's got a few views too. That video. That's got 116 views according to my stuff. Wow. Yeah. And All the... I'm not going to lie, they're not my views. Oh, well, I, know they could, well, I could have been, because I have commented on a few. I mean, there is a handful of videos. you probably watched at least one of them without, like, you probably just click on it. It's like, oh, it's a new video, you know? Yeah, no, I did click on it when I get the notification you're posting. That's it. And, like, sometimes it's... If you're scrolling really fast, ETF1 and ETGT look the same. Like, it's just one. Yeah. Like, like two, two letter different. Wow. But yeah, the overall, both types of videos are doing well. The podcasts are a bit mm. less in views, but there's less podcasts, so that's yeah. got to that's got to build up a bit. Some of them do well. Yeah. The last one's got 22 views. Wow. Hmm. The Nurburgring one. Better than nothing. No, the podcast yeah. is good. It, it's something else to get video content out there for the league, and like people enjoy it anyway. So it's worked out the treat, yeah. actually, the idea like of just recording us talking shit after the race. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> good practice for commentary. Yeah, it get could yeah. get your you know get used to yeah just talking in the party like that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, exactly. I'll still have to work out how we're going to attempt to do that as well, the commentary. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I'll uh, get back to you on what we can do with that at some yeah, point. sounds good. Might start with Season 5, the Audi races. I don't know. We'll, we'll work it out. Yeah. But All yeah, right. I'll let you go and I'll go and have a shower. <laughs> no worries. Well, I'll see you around, eh? Fuck see yeah. See you tonight. That was good. Good racing. And I'll catch yeah, you next no week worries. at Mont. Will do. See you then. See you, bro. See ya.